And here we are, we are now live, live. So thank you very much for bearing with us and apologies for that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we were still setting up the game and I'd forgotten that I'd actually started the broadcast, which is why you could see stuff going on and it was still muted. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Um, today is the playthrough of Vindication. I'm doing two playthroughs of this this weekend. One right now, today, uh, and then I'm going to be doing another one tomorrow at 12 noon. The reason I'm doing playthroughs of Vindication is that my Patreon supporters who sponsor and fund the channel, well, not sponsor it, but fund the channel, um, they voted on Vindication as being one of the games that I would review this month. Well, the game that I will review this month. And in order to review it, I need to play it a few more times. This weekend is Virtual Manicon. Manicon is a UK convention. It's been running for almost 40 years, I think. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, due to the global pandemic, it's not happening at the moment. So Virtual Manicon is a chance for a whole bunch of us to go online and play some games against each other. And since I needed to play Vindication and it's Virtual Manicon, combine the two things together and that's what this is. OK, so yeah, thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, we have a four player game of this plan for today. Tomorrow is looking likely to be a two player game, which is absolutely fine because I actually need to play it two player. Uh, and I've played the base game of this twice. This is my third game of it, but I'm very rusty on the rules because it's been a while since I last played it. The other players who are going to be joining me in a minute, they know the rules a lot better than I do. Uh, especially Damien, who hasn't actually played the game yet, but he spent the morning watching my previous tutorial and playthrough. So yeah, he knows how to play the game more. And the game comes with lots of little expansion modules. We're playing with the pets today. Uh, I didn't just want to play the base game a whole bunch and then review it. I did want to try out some of the extra modules. So yeah, we're going to be playing with pets today. Right, let's turn on Discord and say hello to the other players um, by clicking on this button here. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Hi there. So let's uh, let's introduce everybody from top to bottom. Mr. Harris. Am I at the top or at the bottom? You are at the top on my list. Good morning. <laughs> how, how the devil are you? We're, we're, we're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing okay. This is my third live stream and it's only just lunchtime. So uh, yeah, it's been a busy morning. Yeah. It's unlike you. You normally take your Saturday and Sunday very much at e at ease. Yes, yes. Well, I'm normally editing rule books at seven o'clock in the morning, so at least I'm not doing that. I, now, I, I'm not sure I believe you. I reckon you are currently editing a rule book <laughs> at the same time as doing this video. In between the gaps between you speaking. In, be in between the gaps. Funny story about that. I'll tell you later on off air. Right. Uh, now, you own Vindication, don't you? I have it set up next to me on my on my desk. Right. While, you're, while you've got it set up as well. And I'm playing my own game. So that if I'm doing really badly in your game, I can I can do a different move for you'll myself. Just, you'll just switch over to this one. Yes. How many times have you played it? Two times. Right, uh, okay. I played apart approximately eight months and at least eight months ago, because oh. I haven't really done many board games since lockdown began. So, yes. And because I, I did a whole baby thing. Yeah, I was going to say, you're not, not playing board games because of lockdown. You're not playing board games because you've got a little... Yeah, she's terrible life. at board games as well. <laughs> Look, I know you're only two months old, but this is Mage Knight. It's fine. It's got well. a walkthrough manual. You'll be okay. <laughs> Twilight Imperium. I waited white ages for her turn and she did nothing. Oh. You're looking at the reference style so saying, wait a minute, drooling on the pieces is not a valuable action. You're not allowed to do that. So I did only anyway. one victory point. Anyway, right, we've got you playing Orange today. You're up here. Um, also joining us in the chat, I think we have Damien, who's next on my list. Good morning, Damien. Hi there. Now, are you aware you're going to be teaching me how to play the game today? Yeah, we'd said that before. Uh, <laughs> I, I can uh, resort you, point you to a Paul Grogan teacher-thon. Uh, oh, I haven't got time to watch videos. So, I know the basics, but if there's anything I slip up or get wrong on, since you are, you, you've watched the videos this morning on how to play, you are the font of the most recent knowledge, I believe. Yeah, I've so. watched about a third of yours and about a third of John Getz games. Right. Both of you teaching, figuring that you'd fill in the bits. I haven't watched the end game. Haven't watched the important bits on how to score points. Okay. I just thought I'd get get the kind of things down a bit. Be right. Okay. I'm really looking same third because that's going to be like you'll know it really well how to do a third of the game. Yeah. Or watch two separate thirds. <laughs> And there's just a third left that you don't understand. Yeah, it's it's the bit where you transition from creating an engine to creating a way to win. That's right. the bit that I've got. But I, I've got three people teaching me that, so I'm good. There you go. I wouldn't worry about that. Um, and we're also joined all the way over from Kentucky is Linda. Hi. Good morning. Morning. <laughs> now, you have played this game more than any of us, I believe. I think about five or six times, but it's yeah. been a while. 
OK, it's been a while for you as well. So yes, it is you, Damien, that's going to be teaching us how to play. So we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, have you played with any of the modules before, Linda? Uh, I, we played with the pets. And I think it's that Monuments board. Yeah. Um, and probably a couple other expansions, but I didn't learn any of them because I just liked the pets. Yeah. So that's okay. the only one I remembered. <laughs> well, that, that's the one we're using today. So today's video is going to be more of a playthrough rather than a tutorial. If you have tuned in to watch me teaching the game in my usual tutorial fashion, then you're not going to get that today, I'm afraid. Um, it is just going to be more four friends playing a game together. Um, and yeah, we're going to see we're going to see how we get on. Right, now I haven't done all of the setup because A, ran out of time, and B, I didn't want to do it off camera because then if I won, the other players had accused me of setting it up right. Okay, so here we go. We've done that. We've done the game board. We've done that. Player tiles, we've done that. Speed tiles, we're all <coughs> speed two. Journey cards, right. So the journey cards are not secret, are they? Everybody gets one of these. And you have to sing Don't Stop Believing when you receive yours. Do you? Okay. Don't stop believing. There you go. Right. So this is me. Let's do them in order. So I have I have been thrown overboard for treachery. Oh dear. Uh, your body washes ashore. So number one. So it looks like I'm going to be going first. So that goes there. Um, scoring space 15. A traveller revive you. Randomly draw a blue companion card. And you saw me shuffle these. It cannot have that icon. So we draw a new one. Cannot have that icon. Oh. <laughs> I did shuffle them. There we go. So I have uh, Adran the Methodical. There you go. Uh, that is my starting companion, which starts me with an extra two. Well, we, are, we all start with an extra two, don't we? Um, something inside you awakens. I wonder what that feeling was. Place eight of your blocks into potential, eight into influence, two into conviction. Ah, that's what the other three are for. I thought there was three spare cubes, but there isn't. It's these three. One each so, on the basics. Yeah, so that is strength, inspiration, and knowledge. Right, okay. Um, and that is me done. So I've been thrown overboard for treachery, and I have Adrian the Methodical, who has an ability. If you gain control of one or more regions this turn, get a point. Okay, awesome. Uh, we're going to do white next, which I think is Linda. So your yes. journey is... Uh, you have been thrown overboard for treachery as well. What a coincidence. You start <laughs> from position number two. I'm a uh, bit worried that we're starting this game and you two sound very treacherous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so we've done that, we've done that. Traveling revives you, you get a yellow companion. Uh. Oh, no. No. Yes. So you have got uh, Keyleth Oathkeeper. Special ability is return to influence from Keyleth. Your next empowered draw this turn does not require conviction. Okay, that was there. Um, and we need to get your three white cubes as well. Oh. So there I was saying, oh, they've given us three spare white cubes in case I lose any. And nope, they haven't given us any. Right, so that's your journey step done. Uh, why have I picked up the blue companions? Right, uh, Paul, your journey step is, you've been thrown overboard for treachery. Which number is it? Five. Because then I can read it myself while you're reading it. You Brilliant. Can. Your body washes ashore, a random traveller revive you, you get a yellow companion card as well. Okay, which one? Give another shuffle. You have drawn... Nope. Nope. Yes, you have got Gren, Prodigy of Rhymes. When you add a companion from an inn, gain two points. Okay. Ooh. And something inside you is stirring as well. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. And finally, Damien, who is green, your journey step is... Don't stop leaving. Put them back. Journey step is thrown overboard for treachery. Uh, starting space uh, 15. 
Place your medallion on the... No, four. Starting space four. There you go. Okay. Uh, and you get a blue companion to start with, which is Zaya the Untamed. Special ability of that is acquiring relics costs you one fewer vision. Okay. There you go. Right. That's that done. So we've all got 17 points to start with. The journey steps disappear. Um, right. Done. One of your wooden blocks on each of the attributes for inspiration, knowledge, and strength. Yep, done that. Draw the top face down companion card. Done that. You know we need to swap a tile out. Given I who. Can yeah. I have a green? Can you put a green cube? Out? Did you swap oh, it yeah. for, for an inn or for an academy? Academy. Good. I was going to say because I literally need inns <laughs> for my companions, so it'd be a bit harder if there was one less. Yeah. <clears throat> secret quests. Right. So shuffle the secret quests. We don't need those anymore. Uh, so what at this the point, academy do that we dropped? Uh, the academies just get, well, the, there are still other academies in there. Yeah. yeah. So it's just, uh, yeah, just one of the academies has gone. Right. Okay. So if I can ask uh, Damien and Linda to close your eyes, I am also going to close my eyes. And we're going to deal Paul his secret quest. There you go. Can you see that? Can you hold it up to the camera so I can see what it says? Yeah, it might not focus because I'm trying not to look at it. Uh, I just need to see one of the words. That's not focusing, is it? It's not great, but I think I can see it, tell it, work it out from the pictures. It looks like I can work it out from the pictures. Yeah, I've got okay. it. Right. So that yeah. is your secret quest. Uh, so if you want to close your eyes and Damien, want to, you want to open yours? Put that on the table. Can you read that or see that? No. Is that any clearer? Mm, uh, no, not really. Okay, I do have a closer up camera, but I haven't got it connected, foolishly. No, enough. don't Let, worry. Let's put that hold, it back there. There. hold it back there and I can get it more or less, I'm sure. There you go. How's that? That's fine. I'm just trying. I can read the top one. Yeah, okay. And look. I think these okay. are all described in the back of the rule book. So as long as you've got a rough idea of what it is. Yep. Yep. I'm great. All good. Right. So that's your secret quest. You were green. Uh, Linda, you're up next. There is yours. Power. Uh... Let me know when you've got it. I'll try from that. Okay. Okay. And then finally, mine. You can open your eyes now because I'm just looking. At, I'm going to look at mine here. Now, remind me, you can do both of these. Is that right, or only one of them? You want to try and do both of them. Right. So you can do both. The easy yeah. one. Okay. Right. That's that done. Next up is. Region tiles in the pouch, we've done that. Uh, mastery tiles, yep, yeah, they're over there because they only come in at the end of the game, don't they? Proficiency tiles, we've done that. We have three proficiency tiles because it's a four-player game. Uh, trigger tokens, we've got the trigger tokens at 30, 45, 60, and 75. Uh, and then the end game trigger cards. Okay, so we deal two end game trigger cards at the start of the game. Uh, and then basically more will get revealed as the game goes on. So at the start of the game, there are only two trigger cards, which could cause the end of the game. And uh, let me zoom in and move the camera over. Uh, Did you say it's 35, 40, 45 and 50? Uh, no, 30, 45, 60 and 75. Okay. There you go. Right, so what's happened here is I've opened the window to a little bit more natural light. And unfortunately, what it's done is it's flooded the camera with way too much light. So bear with us a minute. I am just going to sort this out, sort the lighting out, because I can't even read that. The right hand one looks like the when one person has no cubes on their board. There we go. That's better. That's sorted the lighting out. So can we see those end game cards? There is swiftness. One is all in and one is... Yeah, swiftness and all in. So swiftness is um, when all players have upgraded their mount to at least speed four, 
the next round becomes the final round. And all in is when one player has zero blocks on their power board. The next round becomes the final round. Okay, so you've basically spent all of your cubes and put it up there. Right, so that is the way that the game ends at the moment, but I believe every time we pass one of these tokens, we get a new end game trigger card that comes out. Right, community tray, we've done that. Expansion card, so we are playing with the pets. So let's have a read of the pets rule. So we have shuffled in the menagerie into the scumbag that is in there. Uh, and we have the pet deck here and we reveal three pets from the pet deck. I'm gonna have to move this down, aren't I? Okay, and the pets that we have available in this game at the start are Claude, who is a squirrel. Uh, attach this pet to a companion you control. While that companion is active, empowered draws cost no activation. Remind me, what is an empowered draw? It's when you use one of the right hand cubes to draw three cards off the top rather than one and choose the one you want. Ah, right. Okay. So when you're drawing Any... cards, you can spend a conviction to draw three. Yeah, you can always do. You can always take the card that's face up, and normally yeah. you can you can take the one on the top of the deck blind. It allows you to to draw an empowered draw is take three, three off the top and choose one. Okay. And you can cool. also move your conviction or move an influence back to your board if you do an empowered. Control my region. Yeah, or prevent champion death as well. Okay, cool. So that's what Claude does. Um, while that companion is active, empowered draws cost you no conviction, right? Uh, we have uh, Vak Lik, Warden of the Coast. Um, Easy. Attach this pet to a companion you control. While that companion is active, you may move along the numbered coast spaces. All oh, right, okay, so you can go around the edge. And, and both of those, when it says active, it means, I'm, I'm just double checking this, it means you've activated it this turn. Yeah. 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 Great. Okay. And uh, Sluk, Grand Daddy of the Marsh, attach this pet to a companion you control. While that companion is active, proficiencies cost you one less. These are also all worth three points. Okay. So, yes, pets. Uh, when visiting the exotic pet menagerie, you use one inspiration, one knowledge, and one strength. Choose a pet from the market or drop the top or draw the top one face down, which is slightly off camera, but there is a pet deck there. Um, can you do um uh, can you do empowered draws you with that as well? I guess so. See no reason why not. Yeah, yeah, can't see why not. Okay, right. What else do we have to do in setup? I think we're done. Continue to play the game on page seven. Right. Okay. So we've done the initial placement. Starting the game is the player with the lowest numbered space, which is me. So just as a reminder, let me go through what I remember about the game is on my turn, I perform three actions, activate, move and visit or rest. I, each of those is optional except for move. Is that right? Yes, you have to move. You have to move, but the other two are optional uh, and you can do them in any order. And then in addition to that, you can do these bonus actions which is controlling a region, but you can only control the region that you've visited, Activate. I think. Uh, gain a proficiency, which is basically spending cubes to get one of these things. Uh, vindicating yourself if you meet the criteria. Uh, now, what's the criteria? Is it having... I can't remember. Um, you have to have reached, I believe it's 25 on the marker, and um, you have to have all your cubes out of potential. Right. Is that printed somewhere? Um, maybe it's on the other side. Page 20, uh, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know if it was printed on the board somewhere. Oh, I don't know about that. Um, vindication. Yes, so you must have received, you must have reached 25 honor and you must augment all of your potential so that none remain in your potential sphere. Right, okay. Um, and when you vindicate you yourself... Why do you do that? Be why you do that? It's worth five points and also then your character ability becomes gaining two of, two of a thing instead of one. Thank you. 
Right, uh, and the last thing that you can do as a bonus action is recover influence, so you can take a block of, uh, to your influence sphere from anywhere except your potential. So basically you can take cubes off wherever you've got them and put them back into your influence. Um, but if you recover influence from a companion, you lose that companion. So this is what I remember about the game, is that in order to use a companion, you need to put influence on it. Um, and that influence is basically locked. You, you can't get it back except with the recover influence. And if you take all of an influence, oh, if you, re if you take any influence off a companion, the companion leaves. Now, there's another, isn't there another location that you can go to that takes the influence off the companion without actually giving it I think there is, negative? yeah. And, and the first time I played this, I, I had a companion which allowed me to take influence off it and not lose it, so. Okay, so we are ready to go. Let me just remind myself of my secret quest. Oh, we need to do the map setup. Um, so we need two tiles. The two tiles adjacent to each of our starting locations. So we'll do mine we, first. We have a very congested setup. We do, yeah. So I'm gonna put here first. So there is the ancient tomb. That's a very good idea. Uh, getting the characters tiles for other people so I know who's next to me. Yeah. I am so, trying to see if I can get an image of another playthrough that has all the tiles out on the board, just because... Well, as I say, the rule book's got everything in the back of it as well. It's I definitely a game I found. That when I, I, both the times I've played, I've set out going, I don't really care about winning. I'll try, obviously, but it's more about learning the rules. And by the end of the game, I was like, yeah, I understand the rules. Yeah. And then I said, oh, I haven't played it for six months. I'm exactly the same. For that. But I just would like to be able to see it more. There you go. Uh, so we have an ancient tomb, a shrine, an inn. And uh, we have the gaping moor. We. Oui. Uh, purple and one. Purple and white are one and two. Is that right? All right. Uh, yes. So it's purple, green. white, green, and orange. orange. Is that an inn next to the orange? Uh, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, yes. I'm so sad. There you go. Okay, so they are the starting tiles. You can see them. There's two shrines and two ends, a gaping maw and an ancient tomb. Yeah, I'm going to drop the brightness down a little bit just because it does look a bit... I'm going to rotate my board so that it matches the same way around as yours because that's only going to confuse me. Yeah. Okay, there you go. So that is our starting setup. In fact, we can leave it on that screen for now. Right, so it's my go first because I'm on the number one spot. Remind, um, one reminder I do need, what, mm -hmm. what if, if I control a space, do I get a benefit when someone else uses it? Two points. Two points every time someone wants to use it. So, so they, I think yeah, you get so two points for controlling it, they two can points any time somebody uses it, and also two points at the end of the game. Okay, so two points for when you grab it as well? I believe yeah. so. Yeah, and so yes. takes it, they have to face two out, one to negate, one to to take it but i yeah. think they have to use the space first it seemed to be in the demo that i watched you can't take it before you've used it i thought you could i, th I think as long I as you... well i mean if he's on it and he uses it he can control it in the same turn yes. yeah i think that's what someone said to me before I, you can't gain control of it suppose you didn't activate it right. seems to be you have to if you activate a space you must visit yeah. the region in order to control it okay there you are Thank you. however you may take control of the region first and then visit after but yeah. okay you can does it explicitly say that it especially says if um you may take control of a region first and then visit after this could affect honor games yeah. <clears throat> yeah, yeah okay right so it's me um so let's just go through these ancient tomb is spend Two wisdom, which I don't have, to get a trait. Uh, the shrine is spend one inspiration, which I do have. Oh, that's the one that allows you to recover cubes from your Take thing, isn't it? Off, yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. Uh, so activating, I can activate my character to get either an inspiration or a knowledge or a strength, or I could activate Adron, the methodical, and that would get me two knowledge. Now, knowledge is useful for something that we don't really <coughs> know. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move. So my movement is two. I'm right in saying that I can move up to two, but I have to move at least one. 
Sorry, Paul, before we start, I think yep. we should have one face up card on each of the stacks. Oh, okay. Yes, we should. Yes, you should. Right. Okay. Thank you. So the blue companion that's face up is the false tongue. The green trait is loyalty. I'll go through what these mean in a minute. Uh, the yellow companion is uh, Ela, flicker of days to come. The monster is hideous purple slime. The companion is on first son of steel, and the relic is the scepter of blue blazes. Yeah, what I definitely will do for tomorrow's playthrough is I'm going to get my extra little green screen set up so that we can have a close look at these. Um, okay, do you want to look those up just in the rule book or do you want me to go through them now? I can't find the rule book anywhere. I don't think you should. I sent you a PDF in the chat. Oh, you well, mean? thank you, Linda. You're marvelous. Um, so I found one, so you can look at the tiles. Excellent. So yes, we've got the false tongue, loyalty, eel of flicker of days to come, hideous purple slime, arm first son of steel, and the scepter of blue blazes. Okay, so what am I going to do? So I move there. Now remind me, do I complete both of my movement and then put tiles on the board? You, it's, it's any order. You can activate, move, and visit or rest. In any order? Yeah, no. I mean, the move <coughs> bit. Do I move one, take a tile out and put it on, and no, then do my second move? It's move. Move a number of space up to your speed. Must move at least one space. And after movement is complete, reveal any open hex regions in the order you pass them by. Okay. You pass them by drawing region tiles from the bag and placing them. So I've moved two. I am now going to reveal one for there. Could you just tell me who the monster is, please? Uh, the monster is Arn. First son of, oh no, that's a companion. Uh, it's the hideous purple slime. I do remember you saying that. Okay, right. So we have drawn the holy spire, which is basically gain to um, inspiration. And also the library, which is gain to knowledge. <gasps> right, okay. Linda, I do apologise. I can't find where the text chat is in Discord once we're in video. It's, so in Discord, you've got Paul's demo table, which is the voice chat. Yeah. Right above that, you've got Paul's demo table text chat. There you are. I didn't realise. Directly above you. it. I now yeah, get there it. You go. Right. So that's my movement done. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to visit this location here. So I basically get to knowledge, which comes from my influence, he says. Um, they're right? spending two blues. I'm, I'm, I'm visiting the library to gain two knowledge. Oh, yeah, you're visiting. The, yep, yep. Yeah. So that's two from my influence into the knowledge pool. Um... And then I think, I think I might control that. Yeah, so I'm going to use one oh. conviction uh, to gain control of that. So does the conviction actually go on there? Yeah, I guess yes. it does. Right, okay. So I get two points for controlling the library because uh, I like books. Uh, and I haven't activated yet either. Um, Paul? Yep. When am I going to get my library card? Uh, it's in the post. Okay. Yeah, what, did you know? It hasn't arrived yet, so I just... Oh, okay. Oh, like, there's a little... Oh, sorry. Send, send me an email, Paul. Um, missing library I, cards I, I, at... People playing. They don't know what an idiot I am, and I <laughs> talk rubbish throughout the video. I do apologise to them both. Yeah. 90% of what Paul says is just jokes. Right, so uh, activating. Yeah, what do I want to do? Do I want to activate my character or do I want to activate that one? I think I'm going to activate my character. Uh, so I put one from there onto my there and I'm going to get... Oh no, you don't put a cube on it, do you? You just you just say I'm activating it. Yeah, your um, character is cheaper. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to put... Let's put one in inspiration. There you go. Right. So I have activated, I have moved, I have visited, I have controlled. Um, so the other thing I could do is to gain a proficiency. 
or I could convert heroic attributes. Um, but you can do that as many times as you want, can't you? Yeah, any number of times. As long as you have cubes. Yeah, yeah, I do have cubes. So I could go and get myself a relic, uh, sorry, a trait next turn from there. Yeah, I think I'm done. Right. Um, Paul? Yep. There's a little circle at the bottom of the library around the two points. Oh, there is, yes. If you put your, if you're controlling, if you put your cube in there. Right. That way, that's where the control cube is. And if right. people visit, they put their cube outside of it. And that way, you know, that's the control cube. Okay. So, so somebody has to, do you have to put a cube on to visit? I didn't think you did. No, you have to put a cube on to visit. Okay. Oh, but somebody can like try to over control you. Okay. Yeah. Right. We're all good. So clockwise for me is Linda. Um, so I will move. Right, I guess that'll be there um, first. Up there first and to, uh, towards the, uh, yellow tile. Towards the Holy Spire. Okay. Yes. So we're going to reveal. It is the fort, which you can visit to get strength. I thought it would be. Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> and then oh. did my tap turn influence on turn two influence on empowered? I don't want to do that. Um, so I will activate my character. Mm -hmm. At that yeah and place a cube in the blue in knowledge yep yes sorry just to right. clarify with people's uh, abilities companions abilities are they passive or do you have to activate them to be allowed to use their ability if it's things like when you do a thing so i've You've got, got to activate it because i've got a when you do at, at a companion from an in gain two points do I have to have activated that person in, in that round? I believe so. Okay. In which case, if you don't mind, I because I'd forgotten, I actually get a point. So instead of using my character, let's just undo slightly, to gain one of those, I would have actually activated that character to gain two of those, which means when I gain control of that region, I get a point. There you go. Sorry about that. Yeah, it's a good point. I, I, I'd forgotten the ability, and then I'd forgotten the fact that you have to actually activate the character to use it. Linda, so. do you? I'm only going from what I watched. Are you? Can you answer Paul's question more? In that, does the passive ability only come if you've activated a character? My reading, my watching of the videos I have said yes, but I, I haven't read the rules. So. Oh. Um. Companions, companions for free or place one block of your influence sphere onto your companion sphere companions uh, companions. Says activate your character for free yeah. or place one block from your influence sphere onto your companion sphere so bottom of page 15 it says important companion abilities can only be used on the same turn they are activated so yep yeah, you're right i i had to have activated that in order to be able to use the the bonus on it so. Oh right, but I'm not activating my companion. No, I'm no, activating no. my character. Yeah, it's, it's just there it. are some, there are some companions who have bit abilities labeled passive, which are always active. Even Correct. Though... Correct. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Right. Sorry, Linda. We interrupted your turn by me undoing mine. Okay. Sorry, Linda. Oh no, that's fine. I was like, wait a minute. I just wanted to make sure I wasn't um, messing mine up. Uh, so I moved, I, so I can still visit. You've activated, you could visit or rest. Um, so I like to visit the fort. Mm -hmm. So you get two strength. There you go. And then I would like to um, control the fort. Okay, so that goes from there there and that gets you I two points. Some question Paul, you did shuffle the menagerie into the pile of yep. things didn't you? It, yeah. it is in here, yep. 
I just wouldn't want us to miss out on those juicy pets. No. Um. Matt's just joined in. Hi, Matt. Thank you for joining in. I would Good like morning. to gain a proficiency of strength. Okay, so you spend these three cubes. Now, these go back to influence, is that right? Yes. Okay. Yep. Uh, I and believe one of these. Right, let's just put it on there. You just stick it above my thing is fine. Oh, yeah. I can see it on the red table. Yeah, okay. Is that point? Uh, it? Um I am done. Okay. So these these things here, these basically give you points towards the mastery tiles at the end of the game, don't they? Or you can use them as two of whatever they are at any point during the game. Right, okay. So it counts as two cubes. It, but no, you, you then spend it to do that. It's kind of like an emergency backup. Right, okay. Uh, so Linda's done. Paul. If I go to the inn and spend yellow, I have to buy a yellow companion, is that correct? That's, well, I'm assuming so. It doesn't look like it's my turn, is it? Is it? Isn't it? Yeah, we're going clockwise. Oh, no, it's green. It's green. Green oh, turns. Oh, oh right. Okay. So the the initial turn order was this, and then that stays the turn order, does it? No, I, I, I don't know. I thought no, it was around the table. It, it must be around the table. table. So it's me yeah, next. It is you yeah. next. As long as we're consistent, it doesn't matter. You go next. No, no, you go. Um. <laughs> no, you hang up. Oh, no, you. Um, <laughs> if I go here, I, I'm definitely going to be doing this. One, two. I, you couldn't see what I just did. I couldn't see I'm, no. moving, I'm moving from my sp space to northwest of the inn. Yeah, no, yeah. that's it. Northwest, that's it. And that immediately reveals what possible car tile is available to me. It's another library. Oh, it's not as good as my library. Well, the thing is, I've already got a library card for this one. Yeah, it's in the post. Uh, this one, I, 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 I already had the one. Oh, right. Okay, that library. Yeah. Um, see, that wasn't what I was expecting. Nobody expects the library. So I can activate one of my people... the buildings explained and activate one of the regions so i think i'm going to receive two can i have two blues from the library i activate the library so you're going to visit the library yeah and i'm okay. activating myself to yeah. gain a red please to gain a strength yes please yeah sorry i, I do insist on calling them by their color <laughs> rather than their, their thematic thing which does somehow removed from the theme. I do apologise. I'm not adding a cube. I am working on my knowledge in the library. I'm going to read some books. Yeah. Uh, I've moved, I've activated, and I have visited. Do I wish to make the library my own? No. No, I really don't. No. So I scored zero points for that round. Oh, that's worrying. Ah, it's fine. Points are overrated. They do win prizes, though. They do. Building an engine. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll get there. That is one of my weaknesses in games. <laughs> Especially engine building games. Yeah. My other one is scoring points what as one-offs. Which, when you combine those two weaknesses, it doesn't, doesn't no. make a very good play. No. Right. Are you all done then, Paul? I think I have to be. I mean, okay. I'm sad about it. But I don't, I don't have to put an influence on my personal character if I use it, do I? No. no. So just to double check, Zaya gives me two. I'm just trying to look at in the PDF. Zaya gives me two um, knowledge or blue if I do it. Is that correct? Uh, two knowledge, yeah. Every time you activate Zaya the Untamed, you get two knowledge. And then your cost to acquire relics for that turn is one fewer purple cube. Oh, sorry. Okay. So Vision. I don't think I can move to enable me to open a new location. So Nope. So if you could move me through Paul and then due south, please. Yep. Yeah. Um 
and you have I... to sing, sing the theme tune to Due South, which I can't remember how it goes. <laughs> oh, no, I, that might be before my time. No, I don't think so. Um, I would Show like to. Do it. I would like to enact the or to power the library, please, which gives me two. Okay. What a mistake that was not to control the library. Yeah. yeah. I would like to control the library, please. Oh, right. God, it's getting more pain painful by the second. <laughs> two points. Um, I So then my options are for to either power myself or to enable myself, which is one of any of the base starter powers. Right. Yeah. Or to do the my Zaya, which is yeah. two more intelligence. Two more knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. And knowledge is something that basically I will use at the monastery when it comes out mm -hmm. to pull things from left to right. I will go for two more knowledge, please, by okay, Zaya. So ah. Influence yeah. Zaya yeah. to get two more knowledge. Smashing the knowledge. Yeah. Okay. Got to read those books. Um, and I think... Uh, so I would like to do the, seeing as no one's done it, and this is the first round, we'd like to see as many different things as possible. Mm -hmm. I would like to convert two base resources into one um, heroic, which is the knowledge and what's, is it strength, strength? or whatever? What's the, what's the one in between the two of them? Vision. Vision. And that's the one that basically, yeah, that's the one that works on what Zaya works on, isn't it? Relics, yeah. Yeah, you need to find oh, somewhere. That how can you, can you not know that if you spend a day in the gym and then a day in the library, that really improves your ability to see things? Yep. Yeah. Because <laughs> the best power is relics cost you one vision when you're visiting. Yeah, I'll do that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And that needs an arcane tower. Is that correct? I think so, oh, yes. Which is somewhere out. on this island. We don't know where. Yeah. Perfect. No, that's it. That's me done. Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Oh, I, I haven't missed anything that I should have acted, have I? I've moved. No. I've enacted something. You visited. Yes. Yep, we're good. Right, I'm going to Cheers. move first, I think. And I'm going to go one, two. So I'm going to put a tile there, followed by a tile there. So we have the uh, the command post, which allows you to spend three strength to upgrade your speed. And next to it is the command post, which allows you to spend three strength to upgrade your speed. Okay. Now then. Basically is one long running track. Yeah. Now here's a question. Can I visit a location but not actually do the ability? I don't think you can. Huh? Well, what I want to do is I want to control the command post, but you can only control it. Oh no, I can control it. I don't have to visit it. No, uh, you, have, you have to visit a location to be able to control it. I thought it was that you can, if you've visited a location, that's the only one you're allowed to control. That's true, but I'm not planning to visit a location. You I'm have planning on resting. Then you can't. It does say in the in the rule book. Um, oh, that's uh, rule books. I know, right? Oh, you it, must visit the region in order to control it. You must visit the region in order to control it. Whether you do it before or after is up to you, but you must do it. Okay. Uh, and yeah, my question is, can I visit the region, but not actually do the ability? Uh, are you are you really visiting the region if you do that? <laughs> well, I'm kind of walking past and waving at it. I'm definitely there. Well, yeah, honestly, look, here's an Instagram photo of me there. Um, successful Geek is in the chat saying he loves this game so much. Thank you for joining in. While you're here, can you visit a location, but not actually do the ability? I'm not going to this turn. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do is I am going to influence. So I've moved. Um, to, from, the, from the from the rule book, it, say, it says uh, visiting regions seems to be doing the thing that's there. Yeah. So visiting regions, it says command post use three strength to upgrade your mount. So yeah. that visiting the region is yeah. doing action. I think I think you're right. I think I can't. Uh, yeah, you I think if resting, you are visiting. Yeah. Try, I'm there, and you can't rest and claim no. a territory because you can't claim a territory from your bed. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. So I'm going to use my influence on Adron to get two, no two more knowledge. Uh, then because I used Adron, um, oh, hang on a minute. I'm now going to spend three of this knowledge to get one of these knowledge tiles. Um, 
I'm then going to visit the holy shrine, uh, the holy spire, which gets me two inspiration. You have to be um, careful. Careful, your character doesn't, your companion doesn't bump into anyone, because then he'd be a large Adron Collider. Oh dear. <laughs> and then I'm going to control the holy spire, which actually gets me three points because of this. One, two, three. Okay, so I activated a character, I visited a region, I've controlled the region, I have moved. Um, the only other thing I could do, I mean, I could buy this other knowledge tile. And I am a bit short on influence, so yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to spend another three knowledge to buy this tile. There you go. Buying those tiles, what does it do? Uh, it's points at the end of the game towards these mastery tiles. The mastery ones, yeah. And it's yeah. okay. I'm just, I've never seen anyone playing them so early, and I'm like, oh, well, I'm, I'm, I seem to be missing out on this. What am well, I doing? The reason I did it is because I had lots of cubes in here, and I had yeah. almost no cubes left here, so I couldn't really do anything yeah. next turn. It allows you, and is it a free action to buy those thingies? Yes, it's the um, gaining of yeah. proficiency. Yeah, yeah. Oh, limit once per turn. Yes. Oh, right. Okay. Let's put that back then. <laughs> I couldn't do that. There you go. Yep. Yeah, that is limited to once per turn. Okay. I am done. Linda. So um, my first, my companion is Keith Oak Oathkeeper. Yes. Okay. If I activate that, I get two uh, initiative. Or uh, you get two inspiration if you activate. Two inspiration. I, I knew it was an I word. Yeah. And then once there's okay. two influence on the companion, you can return that and your next empowered draw doesn't require conviction. All right. I'm going to activate him, her. Okay. So that goes on there. You get two inspiration. Um, and then I will move, um, I want to move, uh, towards the library. So I want to go one by the green and two by the library in the green. This one here? Yeah. Okay. And then, um, I am going to convert... Two cubes from inspiration and two cubes from knowledge. Into wisdom. Yes. Yeah. And then I will visit the ancient tomb. Ancient tomb, okay. So you're spending the two wisdom. Yep. Would you like the loyalty trait or would you like the top one off the deck? Uh, what is the loyalty trait? Loyalty Sorry, I did is... not look it up. It's when you activate your character, you may return one influence from a companion to your influence sphere. That's nice. Mm. I'll take the loyalty trait. Okay. It's I don't want to spend six points. Okay. And I'm right. The... We reveal a new one. Yes, we do. Okay. There we go. We have greed. What a lovely trait. Hmm. Nom, nom, nom. And then um, I will control the ancient tomb. Okay, that goes on there. You get two points for that. Boom. And I am done. Okay, Paul. Now I, I will be back in a minute. Okay. Just for reference on BGG, it says you you have to be able to go on and take the action on a location to be able yep. to take control of it. But yep. you can do it before you, you can take control of it before you. Um, yes. If you want. If you've got a companion or something that, if you do think something on something you control, then it gives you a bonus or something. Yeah. Um, can I go north too? Uh, well, you can go northwest and then north, yeah. Yeah, sure. And then I'm going to activate Gren to get me two yellow cubes, please. So you activate Gren. Two inspiration. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm going to play a little bit of music, so I'm inspired. Yeah, two, two inspiration. Then I'm going to spend two red cubes at the inn two strength two yeah. strength not red cubes two strength i am going to work out really hard to purchase on first son of steel okay for two points 
Plus, because I've activated Gren, I am also going to get two more points because I gained a companion from the inn. One, two, three, four. Yep. Nice. And that means I have... And I'm also going to control that inn, please. Mm -hmm. Which is another two points. Jorgen. And... Does... If you buy a companion, does their power activate the turn you buy them, or not? If it was passive, yes, but... No. It just says, if I'm adjacent to a fort, gain, no. gain a thing, but I think that's only if I'm activating yeah, them. Yeah. So, but when... If, if he goes in the fort, I get th three reds rather than two, basically. Mm -hmm. And by activating... In fact, I can get five reds in one turn. That's crazy. Um, no, five strength. What am I saying? We need a new companion, please. On the red. Oh, we have End of my it turn. is uh, Nilo, twice forged in flame. Nilo. Nilo. Man at arms and he's got the number 19 printed on his forehead. Yeah, I've got him. Um, I think I've done pretty much all I can do. I activated, I moved, I visited. You controlled. Controlled. I could gain a proficiency if I want to. Mm -hmm. Yellow. Could you've been claiming that that's like a a thing that people do? Um. Uh. Is there any reason for keeping hold of my inspiration? No, I think I want to keep the inspiration for the moment. Yeah. I'm going to stop there. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you very very much. Damien, you're up. Great. I'm going to move first southwest, then south, because I'd like to see two tiles and hopefully find a tower. Okay. So let's have a look. The first tile is the monastery. And the second tile is another monastery. Oh, for goodness sake. So it's we have a very large monastery down at the bottom of the board there. Uh, right. Um, now, what's interesting about the monastery is when I got taught this how to play this game in... Uh, January of this year we were playing the monastery wrong uh, and a friend of mine Scott came over and pointed out that the monastery you can actually use that multiple times on your turn it's because it's got the colon rather than the arrow exactly so you use it one time similar to the, the command time. post yeah yeah so if there's a okay. colon it means you can use it multiple times and indeed so, the shrine yep yeah. okay so I'm going to uh, activate my helper, my champion again, please, Zaya, and okay. give myself two, two more uh, knowledge. Two knowledge. That's six knowledge. Then I'm going to go to the upper monastery, please. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to use. So what does that do? That gives me knowledge, does it? So you spend one knowledge, and for each yep. knowledge you spend, you can move a cube yep. from either your potential to your influence, or from your yep. influence to your conviction. So all those six that I've got, yeah. they're all going to be coming back into influence, please. Okay. So you get six upgrades. That's disgusting. And then mm -hmm. I'm going to move three of those into the far right and three from potential into the middle. There you go. Nice. Right. And I'd like to use I'd like to use one of those in the far right to control the upper monastery, please, yeah. the more central monastery. I'm not, I'm not Im impressed with his obsession with the far right. Um, no. Paul? I'm, I'm actually using the far right for my own power. <laughs> Could you quickly, briefly explain to myself and any viewers who have not, not seen it before how we fight a monster? I forgot. Uh, well, you always defeat the monster. First of all, you go to the gaping moor, you yeah. spend two courage. Yeah. Uh, you automatically defeat the monster, but it's what roll happens afterwards. Yeah. Uh, and the monster will tell you on it what dice you roll. Uh, and then you roll the dice. And then based on the result of the dice, somebody might die. And you, and might you get extra you, bonuses. And you gain a cube of something. Yes. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then and if you, you roll a skull on the black a, dice. A one in three chance of someone dying. Yes. Mm. But you also have a, one, a half one. chance of getting a little black thing. Is that in any cube? It's one in six chance of your guy dying. There's two no, schools. Two of them. There's two schools. Okay, one in three. I didn't realise that. two schools on there. There's also three. Are they at the any resource, is that? I'm not sure. I have to look that up. Because there are black cubes that come with the game, and I'm not sure what they are for. 
fatigue, you must ah. add to your champion. Right, okay. So what, you, you, do we add Black Clue to our champion, or do we add cubes from... So you're quite likely to get some negative thing of, of doing it. Yeah. Fatigue is, you add two influence to your champion. Take and... from, that's the way I saw it. You take them out of your influence and you add them to your champion. Yes, yeah. but you can recover them if you need to. Yeah. By going to the... Uh, by just taking them off the board. Uh, yeah, you can do it by go to going to the... It's not the inn or whatever, it's the other place, isn't it? No, what I mean is recover, if you necessary, is mean you have to take them off the board. Recovering is taking them off the board because you need them elsewhere. So you have to do the thing that straight away. Of, you've rolled fatigue, you need to get put two influence. If you've, if you've got none left in your influence, you're going to have to take them off from somewhere off the board and put them to your influence because that can be that's an anytime action. Mm -hmm. Sure. I'm just looking at what the black cubes do. I haven't I seen like, the two. Um, there's a few, like the false tongue uses black cubes to, is, an, is it not currently the knowledge traitor? Oh yeah, black treachery blocks. Right, gotcha. It's a treachery cube and it, it, there's various bad ones that give you... Black cubes, okay. Black... Cool. Right, any more you want to do, Damien? Uh, no, that's it, thanks. Right, my go. So, uh... Well, now that there's a monastery there, even if it is Damien's monastery, hmm. No, I'm I right think... back. I'm not a threat. <laughs> it's not that. It's. I'll be back in a minute. It's the plan of where I want to go. I think I'm going to move two and go there and there because that is going to reveal two new locations. Okay. Let's first of all have this location here. You're a legacy game's dream. You just like to reveal new places, don't you? Yeah. Just want to open boxes. Open boxes. There we go. We have a fort and a holy spire. Now that's handy because I did need a fort. So I am going to visit this fort. Ah. It's the fort that counts. Before I do that, though, I am running desperately short on inspiration. Uh, sorry, on influence. So I think... I think I'm going to convert these three knowledge into another one of these. And I'm going to convert that knowledge and that strength into vision. Okay. And then I can visit the fort here, which gets me... Okay, no, I'm not going to convert them just yet. I'm going to visit the fort here, which gets me two strength. I can't control. Because I don't have any conviction. Hmm. Okay. So I've moved. I've visited. I can't control because I don't have any conviction. So in which case I might activate. And instead of activating Adran. I will activate my character. And I will get. What should I get? Hmm, let's get a strength. Let's do some push-ups. There you go. Activated, moved, visited, didn't control. Bonus actions, I gained a proficiency. And yeah, I think I'm done. Right, Linda. All right. Um, oh, what happened? Oh. We're back. Okay. We're back. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I, I just checked the Discord because I noticed somebody popped in. Okay. Uh... Uh, we're also getting messages in the chat from uh, Per and John, but I think they might be not up to date. Um, only because John's message that's just come through is correct. It's rest or visit. So I think John might be uh, might be a few minutes back on the on the playthrough. Oh. I can currently see your uh, streamer software rather than the actual screen. Is that different? Is it different? No, that's the same yeah. as it was. Okay. I think. Yeah, probably. I just haven't noticed. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm actually what I'm sending to you is I'm sharing my screen. Yeah. And my screen is actually the the streaming software. It makes sense. So you can see all of the technical stuff going on behind the screen, behind the scenes. You helped me learn to do streaming, so I'm very grateful. Did I? 
Yeah, a little bit by watching some of your stuff. I've I've now done okay. over a hundred videos. Nice. All, all teaching maths. Just you. I know. I mean, so that's just a hundred videos on one plus one. No, we we did two plus three at one point. Oh, okay. Just to spice it, was, it up a bit. It was too complicated. <laughs> we didn't try that again. All right. Can I move um, it south? And then um, to your right, uh, the other right. The other right. right. Yeah. And then I'll expose that tile. Okay. This is, there's only three tiles left in the bag. And I'm hoping it's and the it pet is. menagerie. It is the pet menagerie. Yes. There you go. Okay. So I found the there menagerie. was a little joy, joyous oh, there. I don't play poker, so... <laughs> <laughs> It's right on the coast. Um, I forgot what you have to pay at that. It's one of each of the basic resources. So one inspiration, one knowledge, and one strength. Okay. And if you can hear some seagulls in the background, it's because Linda's character is next to the coast. So what I've done is I've told the seagulls outside to start making very loud noises just to add oh. extra ambience to the game. Makes sense. Yeah. If... If Kentucky going next to the coast, we're in big problems in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will put uh, with that. Oh, throwing up hairballs today. Um, I will. Uh, Visit the library. My library. Paul, nice. And give Paul two points. I'll have two points. Thank you very much. So you get two knowledge. Two knowledge. There you go. And I will activate my character Keyleth. Yeah. So activate Keyleth to get two inspiration. There you go. And am I can in any time you make ever one and I will uh So you can now use the ability of Keyleth if you wanted to, if you were But if I recover both of them doesn't Keyleth die? Uh, well, Isn't there no. none of them on there? No, if I think you recover imprints you... from a Commander Canyon card, that's only if you recover, like, choose to take them back. Yeah. This so is that's especially... If you're using this shrine or something to recover them, you're fine. It's only if you take them back by, like, I, I want that cube back. You kill you kill your companion and take it back. So, then, how do I... So, where would I do an empowered draw? Anytime you would draw a card this turn you, you need to get it. something into your right hand bowl and you've got nothing there at the moment uh no if uh it don't require a conviction oh, yeah, yeah. But... Awesome. yeah um but you've activated a location already this time haven't you that is true so it would have to be the library that you controlled no no what we're talking about is not control is it it's uh it's yeah, it's drawing. However, you draw, but I don't think you can. Not this turn. Okay, so um, I will uh, bind one um, knowledge and one inspiration to go into uh, wisdom. Yep. Wisdom, and then um, my audio I... volume is lower. Apparently, I'll just turn mine up a bit. And it could be that my sound thing has gone again. Let me know if the quality is okay, because I'm having sound issues with it, uh, with it going. All right. Um... Thank you, Peter, for checking my audio levels. I can also turn it up a bit on here. There we go. I am done. That is. You are done? Okay, Paul.
just be aware that if you ask anyone from Manchester how your audio levels are and they say sound, that's actually good. <laughs> I am going to go... I'm going to go to do 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 This is difficult. I would like to go north one, northwest, I guess. Yep. Yeah. And then I would like to activate Arn, first son of steel, so to gain. Activate Arn if adjacent to a fort, gain a strength. Yeah. So you gain a strength, yep. Yeah. And gain two more strength from Arn, because that's, he gets me two. Yeah. Isn't one I get three, so I've got there three. You go. That should mean I've got zero in the middle. You have no influence. But I can then go to the inn to spend two knowledge. You can. To gain either the false tongue or card from the top of the deck. And I'll spend conviction because that goes back into influence, doesn't it? I believe so. To look at the top three, please. Okay. So the three blue companions are as follows: uh, Kuvot, the mind thief, who is a dark wizard; uh, Belak, the potent mind; or Yona, the eccentric. I mean, I kind of, without even looking at what they do, I kind of like the idea of being the eccentric. Just because... <laughs> well, so I've got Yona the eccentric, Kuvot the mind thief, and what was the second one? Belak, the potent mind. Mm. All of them seem intriguing to me. Mm -hmm. They've got one. Right. So, I can either convert one conviction to one vision, or vi vice versa. Vice versa. I can augment one additional power at a monastery. Ooh. Hello. And lose one honour. Gain a proficiency tile from an adjacent map player of their choice. That player gains two points. I mean, that seems pretty hor horrendous. Mm. I, don't, I don't like the idea of being a mind thief. That can go. Um, I'm going to be Belak. That sounds like a load of... Belaks. Belaks. Um... Yeah. So what happens to the two cards when you do an empowered draw? Bottom of the deck or shuffled in? I would say discard pile, but there isn't one, so... Bottom of the deck? Uh, empowered draws, page nine. Empowered draws, use a conviction, draw three cards. Oh no, hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. If you use one conviction before acquiring a card... Oh yeah, that's true. You can draw the top three cards of the face down stack and all face up cards and choose between any of them. Mm -hmm. So you can look at the top three cards and if you decide, actually, I don't want any of them, I'll mm -hmm. take the false tongue instead. You can. You can choose between any of these cards, take your chosen one and put all you remaining cards all into remaining the cards. stack, including yeah. any ones that were face up. So then the false tongue has gone as well. False tongue has gone as well. Everything gets shuffled in and then we get a new one. Yeah. Okay, nice. Okay, so the new one that's face up is Empress Run, the Violet Sun, who converts vision into honour. Right, what's next? I've been a bit stupid there. I used, I, I got a companion from the inn, but didn't use the person who got. Yeah, um, you didn't. But you use your other person to get strength. So yeah, I needed to get strength. Did you? Right. You needed the strength. Uh, we, we can change that quite easily if you want to. No, no, I've got a plan. Okay. I've got a bit of a plan. Yeah. Okay. An eighth of a plan. <laughs> Was that a computer reference joke? It's uh. Because a bit is an eighth of a byte. I don't well, know if you've been extremely it's clever. It's from Guardians of the Galaxy, I think. Oh, okay, right. Are you done? I think so. I mean, okay. how do people feel if I if I didn't do Arn for the strength and I got the points from 
Gren it's fine, dead. fine for me. It's, it's dead easy. We just take three off there. I was going to retake. You can do retake. Yeah. I don't Is that okay? So I'm just going to move it over. Take the three off of Arn. Get put two of them onto yellow for inspiration. Yeah. And do that, and get two points. Yeah. I think that's it. On two I will tell you, there's no hope of me being able to do any of that because I can't read most of the stuff on the board on the cards. So you having it set up right beside you is ten times better. Yeah. That's cool. I'm do fine. Apologize. Do apologise. No, no, do you no. want me to give ten... myself a penalty of ten points? No, I couldn't <laughs> give a flying hoot about it. Uh, do overs are fine. No problem at all. I'm, I'm well aware that anyone watching this is likely to put in the chat. This is likely to start booing in the chat. <laughs> I've lost all support. People have ra rapidly like ditched the the pool flags uh, where they were all in support of me. They're, they're changing their allegiances very rapidly. Are you done now, though? I am. Yes, you are. Right, Damien, you're up. Okay, can I go south the uh, southwest? Southwest. Northwest. Northwest, yeah. So we get a new tile here. There's only two I've tiles got a left 50, in the scumbag. Fifty chance to get what I want. Okay, and let's have a look. Let's see what we get. And we've drawn the arcane tower, which is the one you go to to get relics. Yeah, it is yeah. the one you go to to get relics, indeed. Okay, so I then need to activate my champion. Zion, uh, champion Zion. or. My, my my companion yep and get two um intelligence for that but mainly i do it for her passive yeah which allows you to buy the relic for one vision yep okay now i just noticed zaya was your starting companion wasn't it yes zaya is actually worth three honor at the start of the game not two i so didn't you should be on one extra point yeah. i feel like you're, you're robbing him robbing him yeah. blind I can't see what the card is that the relic there that's available for me. Okay, it is. Uh, let me zoom in. It is the Scepter of Blue Blazes. So when you acquire this, if you were to acquire it, you would place one to three influence on this card, and then you can return influence from this card to convert one knowledge into one vision, which so is good a, for you. It's an easy way to get more relics. It's an easy way to get more vision, which allows you to get more relics, which for you is cheaper. Yeah. Um, so it's either that or the top one, or I use how many? Uh, how many on the right hand bowl have I got at the moment? Uh, you have three conviction. Okay, let's assume that's two. Um, Yeah. Okay. I'll I'll have that one then. Thanks. Okay. So you spend uh, you spent the vision. You take yep. the scepter of blue blazes. Yeah. Um, that scores you four honor. One, two, three, four. And how many influence would you like to place on there? I'm uh, assuming three. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I think okay. it's maybe too much. But okay. Um, yeah. Okay, we get a new relic. Yep. The new relic is the Shield of Dread and Wonder. Just so that I feel the pain of it, can you say what it did? It allows you to move, you put one to three influence on here when you take it, and you move one influence from this relic to a companion you control to gain its attributes. So it's, yeah, relics the same as you would get. Relics you don't have to activate, they're just always able to be used, used yeah. from it. Okay, yeah. great. Um, so I have been to a location i've done my movement you've done your movement. activated a location you've visited i've activated my per my champion uh your um, companion com companion yep and i'd like to take control of the spire in case anyone else wants to um the arcane tower yeah sorry yeah tower. okay all um, done can i have victory points for that please oh yes two points for that putting you in the lead nice but yeah it's nice. okay my go uh we definitely need some stuff yeah now i've got the strength there so yeah my plan this turn was because you have to move so i'm going to move to here uh, i'm going to visit the command post by spending this three strength to up my speed so my speed is now three that gets me three honor 
uh, one, two, three. Um, so I've visited, I've moved, I am going to um, activate I my character, which gets me, what shall I take? What shall I take? Let me take a knowledge, I think. Um, I've got as having two more points that you've given me, Paul. Say again. I've got. I know this is awful. I feel like a complete idiot for saying it. I've got myself down as twenty-seven point. Twenty-seven points. Okay. We well, started uh, on fifteen. Yeah, and then two for each of my. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. Where's the extra two from? Twice. And then two for owning the inn. Yeah. So I get twenty-five. Isn't that twelve out fifteen? So you've got two points for owning the inn. Yeah, one for each of three characters, companions. Or t so two for each of those companions, which is six more. Six. And I've activated Gren twice. Twice. So which, six, and both, both ten, times got two more 12, points. 27. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I know that's, that makes no, me. No, no. I must have missed two points at some point. Um, where was I? Unfortunately, you've interrupted me turn, and I now can't remember where we were. I uh, did that. I visited. I think I was about to use my character. Um, or did I use my character? I think I used my character to get a knowledge. So I think that might be it. Uh, yeah, because I'm planning to do that next time. And then that. And then that. So I think I'm done. Yes, let's just check my secret quest again. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, right, I am done. Linda. Um, I would like to move towards the Holy Spire one. This one and, down here, yep. Yeah. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, and towards the, uh, red one i can't the remember fort. what it is yeah the fort. yep okay so that's moving and i am going If I visit the fort, I get to draw cards in the fort? Uh, no, the fort is just two strength. Okay. I will visit the fort. Okay, you get two strength. Um, but you need to use the white oh, cube. Yeah, sorry, that's... <laughs> You're white, not green. Uh, okay, so you get two strength. Um... I have two cubes left. You have three cubes left in influence. Okay. Um, and so there's no way I can draw cards, correct? Uh, not from where you are. Right. I will activate uh loyalty so you're activating your character oh activating loyalty yeah but loyalty is when you activate your character oh okay yep so i'm activating so, my character yeah so what would you like strength inspiration or knowledge uh knowledge okay Get a point of knowledge, and then when you activate your character, you may return one influence from a companion to your influence sphere, which I guess you want to do. Yes. Okay. Please. Nice. Um, gives me one in each sphere. You do, yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, so, does that give me any points for activating loyalty? Uh, nope. 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 Right, uh, and that will be my turn this time. Okay, Paul. I can't. 
Could I please go south, east, followed by south? Can I please activate on to gain three strength? So activate Deep. on to gain three strength. Can I, because I'm next to a fort. Could yep. I then please uh, turn two strength and two inspiration into two courage? Yep. Then can I please use the gaping more to oh, fight? Here we go. Time? Oh, he's starting to spam points. He is. Okay, are you going to fight the hideous purple slime or the top card of the deck? The hideous purple slime is being beaten. Is right. being okay. taken on. Hideous purple slime has been defeated. You get six honor immediately. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do this in a minute. Uh, and then at the end of the game, you're going to get two honor for each of your vision on the board. Wow. Okay. Just for that. Um, and then we roll both dice. Should I do that here, or do you want me to do? It? Are you going to do it for me? I'll do it here. There you go. But I can tell you what I've got. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. Are you kidding me? No. Nope. A one in six chance and you managed to on live. Oh, two in kill. six. Two in two six. six. You told me two earlier. It's Killer Companion, right? Yeah, I think so. I think it's the highest numbered one, isn't it? Or something. Monsters, page uh, 18. Uh, you can give uh, away one of your cubes. I for thought it. I had to choose. Oh, what an idiot. I've just killed him. Okay, eternal rest. However, you may say however you want to say it, your champion and his or her honour is lost. Those blocks are returned to your influence sphere. Okay, so it's you that died, not a companion. What? No, hang on a minute, that's not right. <laughs> oh, first of all, before we did that, you should have identified your champion, which is the companion in fighting. your party with the lowest number. Oh, the lowest number. So it, it was our... Um, Son of Steel. Yeah. Um, you always win, so as long as you have a champion, you will always defeat a monster. Honor is gained immediately. Yada, yada, yada. But you can prevent. You can use one conviction to prevent the death, but you don't have, have any conviction. So Arn's gone. Arn, Arn is dead. Yes. Poor Arn. He, do I get his influence back? Yeah, you must do. Yeah, those blocks are returned to your influence sphere. Poor Arn. So I lose two points for losing him as well, do I? Yeah, afraid so. Sorry, Arn, but you I had plans for you, but you've yeah. you've died in killing a hideous purple slime monster. But you would you do get one inspiration. You were inspired by Arn's heroic death. Okay. Okay, and now we get another monster. And we have uh the invigorated dead. There you go. Right. There we go. That's how fighting monsters works. Anything else you want to do? Uh, no, I think I think I'm reasonably peeved with okay. the way things just went. So okay. So I now, feel... because you've passed this, something happens. We, he gets the coin and we draw one more game end card. Yeah, that's it. And what's the coin used for? Tie breaks, some isn't of the, it? Some, tie breaks and some of, the, um, some of the cards we can get score from them. Right, okay. So one coin and we get a new end game trigger, which is uh, Vindication. When all players have vin been vindicated, the next round becomes the final round. Okay, there you go. Right, Damien, your go. If it's okay with you, I'm going to pop and go and grab a biscuit. I'll be back. Yeah, in a yeah, second. yeah, it's fine. Can you get me one? Uh, ginger biscuit, all right? Mm. Southeast. Oh, fine. Sorry. Southwest, northwest again, please. I'm going southwest left. Southwest and northwest. You get the final tile, which is the final in. I don't need the scumbag anymore. I love that it's called a scumbag. So I'd like to activate that in, or visit the inn, please. Visit the inn, yeah. What would you like to spend? Sorry, not the inn. Sorry, the um, 
Sorry, I'm uh, visiting the Holy Spirit again to, to inspiration. Uh, inspiration, please. Yep, done. Um, I'd like to. I'd like to control that spire, please. Okay, gets you two points. Yep. Um, that's just rude. Why was that? <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody else was going to do that. Well, there's, there's another one you've just moved past behind you, Lindy. Yeah, no, that's mine. I painted it uh, purple. Somebody already has that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right, sorry. And I've um, got landmines around it, so. And I need to decide which of myself or the other person. I'm well, you doing. have no influence left. Uh, that's a good point. Okay, so I'm going to combine. Um, let me get my colour. Yeah, don't forget, you do have the Scepter of Blue Blazes that you can use as well. Two inspiration and two knowledge. So the the scepter only lets me take. Do you read what the scepter does? Yeah. So the scepter allows you to return one of the cubes that's on it back to your influence pool, in order to convert one knowledge directly into vision. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that quite now. I'm using okay. the two inspiration and the two knowledge to get two green, please. Two wisdom. Yeah. Okay. Um. And then I still have to choose which person I'm activating, I guess. Yeah? Yes, you've not done that yet. So the my trusty person gives me two blue, is that correct? Two, yeah, but you only have two top. cubes left in influence. Yeah, I'd like one... I only got two cubes left in influence. Just trying to see. Um... Yeah, I will take one of those cubes and put it in. Uh, I will activate myself. Yep. And take like? one of those cubes and put it in blue. In knowledge. Okay. Yeah. All done. Uh, wait a second, it's not the one I, want, I meant. Um, it doesn't really matter, I've done it. Uh, yeah, I'm done. I'm, I'm good enough, yeah. Okay, right. So my go, I now have three movement point because I got a horsey. Um, but it, it's knowledge that I need. And I only have two of it and I really would like some more. So... Yeah, let me move... Uh, one two three think can i ask who the monster is at the moment please the monster is the invigorated dead or it might be um so yeah move three because i can in fact no i think i'm just going to use two i'll just walk with the horse um i'm going to activate the shrine Sorry, I'm going to visit the shrine, which is to spend. Oh, hang on a minute. Let's do this the other way around. Uh, yeah, I'm going to activate Adran to get two knowledge. I'm then going to visit the shrine and I'm going to spend two inspiration. Do I spend two inspiration? No, let's just spend one inspiration. One inspiration to get two of those cubes back. Um, yeah, I can't control it because I don't have any conviction. Okay, I think that's okay. That's going to go there, that's going to go there. Just planning next turn. That would go there, that would go there, that would go there. Yeah, okay, so I have moved, I visited, uh, I activated, and I don't want to do any of the other fancy stuff or do i yes let's do that let's convert a knowledge and a strength into a vision right i'm done linda um i would like to move uh back towards the pet yep um 
I'm going to visit the pet. Okay, so that's a knowledge, a strength, and an inspiration. Which pet would you like? Uh, the shoe one, uh, the werewolfy looking thing right on top. Uh, it's a frog. Oh. Okay, whatever, the frog. Sleerik, yes. the grand daddy. One of that mind. allows me to buy proficiencies for two. Uh, yes, attach this pet to a companion you control while its active proficiencies cost you one less. Which companion would you like to attach it to? Uh, let's it to attach it to Keyleth. Okay, Keyleth now has a giant frog. And I assume we reveal another pet so that there's always three available. Correct. It is Kajak, ageless and esteemed. It's like a velociraptor. Oh, and if you do an empowered draw with those, you um, pitch all three of those, draw three, and then shuffle and put okay. out three new ones. Okay. Um, how You've not activated um, somebody yet, so you've got that to do. I would like to activate Keyleth. Yeah. To get to inspiration. Uh, let me out. I will purchase a proficiency of inspiration. Which only costs you two. Correct. Okay, you have that. Nice. Um, and then I will convert a knowledge and an inspiration into a system. System. Yeah. Okay. All done. All, right. yep, all done. Paul. Southwest South, please. Southwest South. Um, I'd like to activate Belak. Activating Belak to get two knowledge. Two knowledge. Yep. And then I would like to use the monastery, even though that does give him some points. So you visit Damien's monastery. And I'll spend and then... all my knowledge for four augments. Yeah, so you spend your knowledge, but because of your Belak's ability, you get four augments. What would you like to do? Uh, two into conviction. Uh, one into conviction, three into from potential to influence, please. Okay. seems legit anything else i've done a thing i've done a thing i've moved i've activated and i've visited yeah okay damien uh, and then no nope. oh. yeah this is going to be interesting i'm actually going to do instead of sort of to put one of those back into potential please and put two into conviction yeah are you going to okay. now control the monastery both those convictions to defeat him at the monastery. Yeah, so that one goes in there, that gets kicked out, that goes back there, and you get two points. Yeah, you don't. He doesn't lose the two points though, does he? Uh, no. No. I mean, effectively, he does at the end of the game, but mm -hmm. he doesn't lose it now. But I get two points for getting it now, even if it's off me. Yeah. 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 Okay. Right. I w I would take that, Damien, as a as a declar declaration of war. To be honest. Uh, Damien, it wasn't. It was a, a declaration of friendship. <laughs> I could see your guy was really tired, so I just thought I'd relieve his, him from duty. I am not stupid. <laughs> I have I have sat around a table with you, Paul, face to face at Handicon. <laughs> I am absolutely clear what it was. It was uh, fun, friendship, and cuddles. Yes, None especially the cuddles. That. Right. That now means I have a choice. Okay, um, I can't do what I wanted now. It's a bit of a ball lake. I've got two cubes in there. You have so, two influence and one conviction. Yeah. yeah. And don't forget, you've got the scepter, which you can use, I think, at any time. I and so the thing that I would get from the scepter is the um, if I if I was the shield. What does the shield do again? Uh, the shield. What shield is that? The relic that's face up. 
Oh, this one, the Shield of Dread and Wonder. Uh, so this allows you, once you acquire it, you put one to three influence on it, and then you can move influence from it onto a companion you control to gain the companion's attributes. In other words, yeah, it's, a double it, power it's a activating companion. the character, yeah. I'm just trying, I am having to jump between to try and see the locations. To yeah. Switch. And say, so if you want me to zoom in on any part of the board so that you can see if that helps. No, I, the biggest problem is I don't see how I've got any choice but to give the guy who's just taken my points away, give him points, because otherwise I'd starve myself of cubes. Um, all right, so I'll have to do it. So um, if you could move me southeast, northeast, please. Yeah. Um, I will activate my companion to give myself two more knowledge, please. Uh, so you've currently only got two influence in your pool. They're all coming off in a second. Because I'm then going to... So I'm activating my companion. Yeah, but activating the companion costs... Oh, one. yeah, so yeah, well, no, well, yeah, it won't work that way. Yes, okay. And you've only got one so, left. So I guess I'll activate myself. Yeah, to get then. one... To get one knowledge, please. Knowledge, yeah. I'm going to use both those knowledge... So you're going to visit the monastery, which gives Paul two points. No, I'm not going no. to do... Uh, actually, I have to do... That, yeah. So the sequence is, is I'd like to take two points. I have to go to the monastery to move in to the mid to the right-hand side before I've got enough to knock him off, which means I do have to give him the points. But yeah, okay. Yeah, so I'll activate... I'll give Paul two points, please. Yeah. And then I'll you take use your two, two knowledge. And I'll put one of them in the right hand pond and mm -hmm. one from potential into the middle please okay and i'll use don't worry but i'll use those two to knock off not pull out please yeah. okay getting you two points back you got a little scheme here together no not at all and so that means i've <laughs> activated myself i've moved. used the location i've moved visited controlled yeah, I think that's and well I've done. Got nothing else I want for now. Yeah. Right. Uh, okay. So I'm going to move. Uh, I'm just going to move one to here, and I'm going to visit this monastery. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to influence Adrian to get two knowledge, and then I'm going to visit the monastery and spend all five knowledge uh, to get one, two, three, four, five. And then I am going to use this to control the monastery, which gets me an extra point because of Adrian. So that's three points, one, two, three. So I've moved, visited, controlled, activated. That is it for me. I am done. Linda. Oh, why should I drop I am going to go, um, can you move me towards the fort under your hand? Yeah, just one, or do you want to move another one? Uh, just one. Okay. And I will visit fort. For two strength. Yes. And I will get a proficiency in red strength. Okay. Do you want to activate Keyleth before you do that? Oh, yes, I do. Sorry. That's all right. So you activate Keyleth to get two inspiration. And now buying the proficiency costs you two instead of three. So you have a second proficiency in strength. Oh, um, okay. and that's all I want to do. Okay, Paul, could I please go south, east, northeast? Mm -hmm. To the inn. Yep. I'm going to activate Gren to gain two yellows, uh, two uh, inspiration. Inspiration. Yep. 
but then I'm going to spend two inspiration at the inn to purchase Ella. Ella! So that's one point plus an extra two for Gren's ability. So one, two, three. Uh, when you activate Ela, uh, activate your character, you may convert three influence on Ela to one inspiration. Ooh, okay. There we go, right. And that's that, that's a move, an activate and a visit. And yep. I think that's all I can do for the moment. Okay, Damien? Do I have five cubes in influence? You do, yes. Yeah. I want to go right where Mr. Purple is, but that's not going to work, so. No. So I'm having to change my plan. Give me one second just to look. Okay, so I'd like to go straight north and then northwest. North by northwest, yep. See what I did there? Yes, it's very good. Um, can you go <laughs> out again so I can see how many cubes? You're a talent. So I've got three cubes, or four cubes in influence, is that right? Four in influence, yep. Okay. So, and I've currently got none in strength, is that right? You have no strength, no none knowledge. Yeah, I'll um, have, one inspiration. I'll have two. Inst I will go to the fort, please. Uh, yeah, so you visit the fort to get two strength. Yeah. Yes, please. Um, I'll activate myself, please, and give myself another strength, please. Mm -hmm. um, and I have no. Um, What's the right hand circle called? Conviction. I, I have no conviction left, is that correct? You're correct, yeah. Yeah, I think that's a rather light uh, light turn for me, but I think that's all I can do. You uh, used all your conviction kicking Paul out of the monastery. I oh, didn't sorry. want to do it, but it just felt like it was the right thing to do. Reclaiming your home. <laughs> okay, so my go. Uh, three movement, I don't have any of that. Uh, I don't have any of that, so I'm actually going to go one, two. I'm going to visit the fort for that. Um, I'm then going to activate Adran to get two knowledge. I am then going to control the fort, which gets me three points because of that ability. One, two, three. So I've moved, I've visited, I've controlled, I've activated. Uh, then I'm going to spend one strength and one... No, I'm not. Nope, we're good. I'm finished. Linda. Do I want to give points? As long as they're to me, yes. <laughs> Neither, the pools. Neither the pools need points. <laughs> well, definitely not the orange, Paul. <laughs> Definitely not Orange Paul. You'd be surprised how many people call me Orange Paul. Mm -hmm. But I mean, to be fair, if we look at the end game points, Paul Orange Paul is only getting two at the moment for this, whereas I'm getting eight for this. So the scores here. Yeah, are but if he's doing monsters. Monsters are going to get tons of points. Yeah. Um. I think I'm going to try something different and wait for that strategy. Um, I'm going to move to over to the monastery by the um, fort. Oh, bloody hell. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> Don't have blue. You currently have no knowledge. Yeah, obviously I have no knowledge because I just moved to a blue square. Um, I you... guess I'm going to rest. Are you, you're still going there? Uh, um, can you move me back? I'll move yeah. to my other location and just rest going there. Um, can you move me up towards your library? You can, yeah. Um, and... Actually, I'll visit your library. Oh, thank you very much. Paul, could yep. you uh, 
Could you flip over another yellow companion, please? I can. You're right. I didn't do that. It is uh, Drin, or Drin, the Knight's Beacon. Thank you. Okay, so you visited the library. I got two points. You got two knowledge. I got two knowledge, and I still can't move anything. See, that's weird, because that's not a passive power, but it clearly says it's when he joins your party game, that. True, yeah. It's, a... it's an immediate uh... power. You have to do it immediately, it happens. Yeah, but I think Paul's right. That there should be some kind of icon on there, like an exclamation mark or something, to say this applies when you... I mean, it's obvious, but... Yeah, technically speaking, by the by the rules, it's got a funny power... oh, yeah, can't be a starting companion. That's what the symbol means. Yeah, there's only one cube left in my influence. There is, is that correct? Yep, that is correct. Um, I will. Oh, I can do that because guess I'm done. Okay, Paul. Could I please go southwest, northwest? Southwest, northwest. Yep. Activate the library, giving points to green like an idiot. Yeah. Activate you... Bella. Two, in, uh, two knowledge. And I think that gives me four knowledge. Uh, you have two at the moment. Well, I've activated Belak as well. Oh, sorry. You activated Belak. Yeah, you've now got no, four no, knowledge. I'm not activating Belak. Okay. Not activating Belak. Because she's the one I activate next turn. So I'm activating yep. Isla. Yep. Who gets me one yellow. One inspiration. Yeah, one inspiration. Yep. And you can activate your character as well. Yeah, which means I can have a knowledge from my character as well. You can. Uh, and you may convert three inspiration. Sorry. You may convert three influence on Ela to one inspiration. I only have one on her. Yeah. Okay. Do I? Can I just confirm how many influence I have remaining at the moment? Zero. I think I thought I've got one cube. No. No. So I had five at the start of this round. I've just gained. Yeah, I had five at the start of this round. I've just gained um, three. I will have to rewind on the YouTube to find out. <laughs> I thought I had five. I activated Isla. For right, one. you had five. Yes, I'm looking. Activated Isla for one. So uh, uh, let me just go through what you did. I, I'm pointing at the library. I'm giving Damien two points. I'm taking two of your five cubes out and putting them on knowledge. So you have three cubes left. Yeah. You then activate Miss Isla with a yeah. cube. Yeah. Put I get one cube on inspiration and then one cube on knowledge, leaving you with zero. Oh, cubes. I get inspiration. That's where it's from. Yeah. Okay. Not a problem. Could I therefore have three, uh, spend three inspiration for one of those little tokens? Uh, so you spend three inspiration for a mastery token. Yes, please. There we go. Okay. Any more for any more? I've been done, I think. Okay. Right, Damien. I would like to... Just one second, I need to get the image up of the right location. I would like to use the command post to my left. Oh wait, are either of those command posts controlled by anyone? No. Okay, the left hand command post then, that's my yeah. active place. I'd like to use that. Spend three um, strength. My three strength. Get a horse. And three points. Which gets you three honour. Then I'd like to move north, northwest, north. North, northwest, north. Yep. Um, and now, um, just one second. So you've moved, you've visited. Okay. And then I need to decide what I need to enact. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
actually I'll do the enacting before what am I beside right now uh, the ancient tomb which gets traits the holy spire that gets inspiration and the library that gets oh knowledge. no sorry I've, I have already enacted something sorry I do apologize for confusing I've enacted the location to command post to just power my speed up I need to either enact my person myself you've, you've or... visited yes what you haven't done yeah. yet is you haven't activated a character yeah so I either get two intelligent or two blue two knowledge or one, or of, one something of anything else. yeah um and monsters need what to kill them courage like... you need two courage to go into the gaping maw okay and courage comes from top life top left so i will give myself a strength um by activating myself yep and i will turn that strength and the yellow into a courage please which gives me one of them back you have one courage yep and i think that's pretty much everything okay right my go so i'm going to go to this shrine again that's me that is you i'm going to go to this shrine uh i will spend an inspiration uh no hang on i'm gonna mm. i kind of want to do that then do that then do that again can't do that can you that would be cheating <laughs> so i'm going to combine a knowledge and a strength into a vision then i'm going to activate adron to get to knowledge then i am going to visit the shrine and spend those two inspiration to get these four cubes back so i've visited i've activated i've moved i combined did I want to do anything else? No. Nope, I think we're good. Yep, we're good. Linda. Um, I am going to move to the ancient tomb uh, so unfortunately Damien's in the way just move past him don't I um, yeah but you've only got two movement at the moment so I don't think you skip spaces unless I've misunderstood the rules I found it that blocks you yeah you'd need three movement to get past oh, all right then just move me back one space by the pets back down to here and then um i will visit the menagerie mm -hmm. so you spend a strength a knowledge and an inspiration yes. and i will take the new pet that you just drew uh kjek ageless yeah. and esteemed so that gets you three honor yeah and you attach it Ah, so you can actually attach multiple pets to the same companion, I guess. Yeah, you can. And you can also use that so that if you're then going to activate a space, people who's it's owned by someone, it doesn't give them any honour. Yeah, nice. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that goes on Caliph, and then we get a new card, and the new pet is Shona, the Gilded Claw. Okay, right. Oh. Nice um and then i will uh activate um Aleph. okay so one goes on there you get two inspiration and how many does that leave me in influence you have one left in influence okay. right thank you I'm done. Well done. Right, Paul. Uh, activate Belak, please. So Belak is activated. You get two knowledge. Then I'd like to spend those five knowledge at the monastery. Giving Damien another two points. Yes, please. To move all six of my potential into influence. Yep. And flipping myself over to 
you have become vindicated. You are now a respectable human being, apparently. For five points. Five points for orange. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Yeah. And then I will move two places, southeast and northeast, to stop in between the library, the inn, and the shrine. Yep. Yeah. And that is the end of my turn. Thank you, you visited, you moved, you vindicated, you activated a character, you're done. Damien. Thank you, please. Thank you, please. Okay, so I'd like to... Oh, I need to swap screen. I'd Anything like you want me to visit... zoom in on? Uh, I'd like to know what the um, uh, trait is in the ancient tomb, please. Okay, so the trait in the ancient tomb is greed which gets you six points when you take it, and then you can lose one honour to make an adjacent map player lose an attribute of their choice, and you gain three of that attribute. So by attribute, you mean lose a cube out of somewhere and I gain three, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Is that at any time you can do that? Uh, yeah. Let me just read up on traits. Page 16. About traits. Honour is gained or lost immediately when a trait is obtained. Yeah. Uh, may, can be used immediately. Uh, can't be used, uh, can be used, sorry, traits with triggered abilities can be used more than once per turn. So yeah. But it loses an honour every time he uses it. He starts with six. That is true. But he could spend all six points if he stood next to someone who had six things on the board. Yep. To make them lose all six of their attributes, and he gains eighteen. 18. But I have yeah. to have cubes to put out on. Them. Yeah, exactly. Okay. He got them. <laughs> he, he would need a second copy of the game. Yes. So you know, it's. Uh, Can I just confirm that I've got twelve influence, please? You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh. Where have you got my other ones? Uh, I have three on Gren. You have two in yellow. Uh, yeah, so three on Gren, two on Belak, one on Ela, two in Inspiration. Uh, matching. They've got it all matching now. Okay. Um, it really is that one has sure. Games. Say again, Linda. The, the greed one is a special, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to draw a blind off the top. I don't really want the grid, so I'll hand in my two inspiration or whatever, and I'll take blind off the top, whatever it is, please. I don't have a... Uh, it's two wisdom, yep. Yep, two wisdom. Okay. Inspiration, yep. So the one that you've drawn blind is devotion, uh, which is worth six points, and every time you use conviction, you get a point. What? Which one's conviction? Conviction is the right-hand sphere. Well, okay. The one that you've been smashing all match. Yeah. yeah, I'm empty. I'm empty. I'm all, all convicted out, mate. So yes, yeah. you're safe. Um, I always thought you lacked conv conviction. Yeah. All right. I, thank you. You're taking so, it. Sorry, Linda, you were going to say something, Linda? And you'll get more. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not worried. I'm not worried. I didn't really want the greed one. It's a little bit too negative, and mm -hmm. other people are not really all that. I'd rather figure out how things go this game rather than anything else. Yeah. Right. Um, so. I've done that. Now yep. I've got very little on the board. I now need to move my three. So I'm going to move two east three. Uh, let me. The white location in the middle top is that the get two things off your yes. off your champion. It's the sh uh, the shrine uh, off your off a companion. So spend yeah, one inspiration. So I'd, like to move, so I'd like to move two more spaces to the right, please. Yep. Um, then the action that I've got. Check, check one more thing. Okay, I would like to put a strength in right now, please. For my, I'm activating myself. You're activating yourself on. to get strength. Yep. Yeah. Um, uh, did you give? I activated the place to get green. To get the trait, did you give whoever I whoever I owned did it? not? You're right. Yes, I owe Linda two points. Thank you, Linda. I'd like to point out that that was nice that, that of was, me. Thank you. Yeah. 
that's all right. You wouldn't see Paul do that. <laughs> Which Paul are we talking about? You. Absolutely... All you care about is counting up what's on your board. <laughs> I still get to say, on my board, I only have my own things. Yeah, right. I'm, um, I'm done. I okay. I've got nothing else I can activate. So yeah, thank you. Bye -bye. We've passed the 45 points mark, so I've given you the coin, and we get a new end game trigger, which is. Oh. Damien, I'll be on the lookout to see if you're if you're owed any points, and I'll make sure that it's called out immediately that you are owed some points. I don't come. I'm, I'm, I'm right. sorry. Regions. I don't know why, mate. When one player controls four regions more than each other player, the next round becomes the final round. Yeah, that's unlikely, isn't it? What's that one called? Just regions. Regions. All right. So at the moment, I've got four. Damien, you've also got four. So yeah, that's that's not going to trigger anytime soon. It sounds like it's a two or three player game one that might happen. Yeah. Okay. So my go. Uh, I have to move. So I go one to there, and I visit my own monastery. Um, before I do that, I am going to activate Adran, um, which gets me to knowledge, and then I visit the monastery and spend five knowledge to move five cubes from potential into influence. Um, so I've moved, I've visited, I've activated, and then I am also going to vindicate myself for five points. One, two, three, four, five. And that is me done. Linda. Um, can you move me down to the end at the end at the very bottom? Yep. Um, I am going to visit the end. Oh, wait. I'm check? going to visit the inn, but I'm going to activate Kalith first. Right, you don't currently have any uh, influence. You've, you've got one influence left at the moment. Can I change my last move just to physically move the, the one space backwards? Yeah, that's, that's all I want to do. Thanks. Sorry yeah. about that. That's all right. Right, but... If it changes anything Linda's about to do, please put me back. No. No, I don't think it does. Can't I activate Kalith for the return to influence for an empowered draw? Yeah, I don't. I, yeah, you don't have to get the inspiration if you don't want it. So. Okay. So you activate so, Kalith. Uh, right. So um, I'm going to spend two yep. influence inspiration off of the inspiration. Yeah. In what order does that happen? Does Linda can Linda now get the influence the inspiration she's due because she's returned it to her influence? It, it's a timing thing. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's probably not covered in the rules. It may have been asked on BGG as for the exact timing. But when you activate a unit according to the rules, um, it means gaining attributes and/or abilities from a companion card. Choose choose either your character or a companion. Place one block onto the companion sphere, uh, gain the attributes that that character or companion generates for your party. Uh, you can gain as many attributes as you wish up to the total amount allowed, and then optional, use the companion's special ability during your current turn. Now, these are just in the rule book as three arrows. It doesn't say that they have to be done in that order. So that, that is the question, is when you activate a companion, can you use the ability before you gain the attributes of that character. If anybody in the chat knows, or if anybody wants to Google the answer, let us know. Um, if that's possible, Linda basically gets two more inspiration. Okay, but. Um, so I'm gonna do an empowered draw on the yellow. Yep, okay. So the so three I don't cards. have to do conviction. Yeah, so the three companions that you've drawn are as follows. Uh, there is Jika, the brazen, Number 22. Uh, there is Zoe, Barrier to Darkness. Number 25. And there is Kea, the Ascended. Number 40. Now, Jika is the only one that can't be taken as a starting one. So I think technically that's the the better one. But Jika, number 22. Yeah. Jika, the Nomad. Oh, Jika, the Nomad. Sorry, sorry. Oh, no. Jika, the Brazen. Huh? Nomad 22. Okay, and what was the, not Zo, what was the other uh, one? Kea the Ascended, number 40. Okay. 
Um, I want Ika the brazen. Yeah. Okay. So they're going to get shuffled back in. So you get that. Um, you get the three points for the character. One, two, three. Uh, and when Jika joins your party, you augment three influence to conviction. Nice. Okay, so you have three conviction now. You take those cards, take this one, shuffle them all together. And then... Um, is okay. that in controlled? It is not. I like control... You can. Yes, please. Two points. Okay, the new yellow companion is Dawn, the Lost Hope. Okay, anything else? Uh, so, um, Aleph is still activated. Correct? Yes. So, proficiency has cost you one less, and at the moment, other players cannot gain honor. Um, can I purchase green proficiency? Mm-hmm. Uh, so you spend two cubes for a wisdom proficiency. Yeah, they're nice, aren't they? Because the, 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 the special attribute masteries are worth more points at the end of the game. And um, I am done. Okay, Paul. Uh, could I please go north-northwest? And then I would like to please activate Isla and therefore also myself. Yeah, so Isla gets an inspiration. And what would you like? And then I get one inspiration and two strength, please. Two strength. I think I know what's coming next. And then could I please go to the gaping moor? Yeah, so two inspiration and two strength becomes two courage. Yeah. And then two courage becomes a trip down into the gaping moor. Would you like to fight the invigorated dead or... Yeah, please. Belak yeah. is going to fight the invigorated dead. So Belak is going to fight the invigorated dead. You defeat the invigorated dead and get five points. One, two, three, four, five. And now we roll the dice of doom. I'm not hoping it's the skull. Well? I'm genuinely not. <laughs> it's a skull. And it's also red. I'm happy with that. <laughs> okay. So Belak is dead. You lose the two points. <sighs> I'm not hoping for it, Paul, because if I go to do it now, then three out of three. <laughs> three out of three, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. And we get a new monster, which is Drozol, Overlord of the Vortex. Mm. Okay. Now, what did that monster give you? At the end of the game, two honour for each monster you have defeated. Okay. Nice. That's lovely. It's a nice scaler. Yeah. Right. All done, Paul? I'm just in mourning. I'm just attending a funeral, I'm afraid. So oh, okay. Yeah, I'm just having a little burial for Belak. And he's, he's bringing up bad memories of, uh, of Arn. Yeah. Off you go. Right. I'm just double checking, so I can see that Linda's got four of the tokens. Paul, you've got two, and Paul, Orange Paul's got one. Is that right? The mastery tiles. Yeah. Yeah. So mastery tiles count as two cards of their colour. So rather than looking at the tiles, I have five blue cards, which is the most. Yes. Uh, Linda has four red cards, which is the most. Linda has three yellow cards which is the most, two green cards, which is also the most. So in terms of at the end of the game, uh, Linda is currently getting Massive. that and that and, oh no, hang Can on, I... that's, is that orange thought... or yellow? It's yellow. I thought yellow. the yellows count, I thought the tiles counted as two, so wouldn't I have four yellow? Sorry, yes, you've got four yellows. Yeah, you've got four yellows. Three green. Uh, three green. Paul has killed two monsters. Yeah, do you include things you've got influence in on the board as well? So if you've got influence in the Holy Spire, does that also no. add to the yellows? I don't think so. That's, what no. that's more or less what I was asking. 
Uh, who's got the um, who's got that? I've got that one. And who's got the purple one? I think Damien's got it because you've got a relic. Yeah, the only one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Uh, that I was just this puts a good picture about who's really ahead. Yeah. I was I'll, trying to I'll make leave sure those that out. Did, didn't feel too negative. Yeah. Right. We don't have to leave it that way. No, um, that's all right. I'll leave them out. Right. So the whole reason for me doing something was to enable myself to move in a minute. So I would like I would like to um, visit the place just north of me. What's that called? Uh, the shrine. The shrine, because I'd like to get two cubes off my companion. Okay. Please. So visiting the shrine costs inspiration, and you currently don't have any inspiration. Oh, does it? I didn't even notice that. Okay, yeah. I think I might have to leave that and not worry about that for now. So I will go south, southeast, south. Yep. Yeah. Or do I go and have my fight now? I think I go and have my fight now. Okay, okay. so I'll go northeast, southeast. Yeah, to the gaping uh, moor. I'm going to use my uh, activate my own self, which puts one out onto there, and then I'm going to combine the two to get courage. Yeah, and then spend the courage to fight a monster. Yeah. Now, what's the t what's the power of the top one that's there? Uh, it is at the end of the game gain two honor for every two conviction in your conviction sphere that's at the far right yeah yeah i'm probably not going to have very much there so i'll take I'll, I'll blind draw off the top please. okay you are fighting mornak lost in shadow and you've succeeded congratulations you score one two three four five points uh, the bonus of this is at the end of the game you gain one honor for every two influence in your influence sphere that's Okay, and let's see what happens. Okay, so you've gained some knowledge, but somebody is fatigued. Yeah. So was that just put an influence cube on it? Is it, is it one two. or two? Two. Two, two, influence two influence cube on your character. Oh, okay. No, but the, no, the character that did the fight, I think. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 the champion. Yeah. Right, okay. Sorry, Paul. I did it also without any conviction, so I was risking it as well. It was a risk. Lucky. Um, okay, so then I've done a... I haven't got any conviction, so I can't take control of anywhere. Um, what do you need to do your vindication? You need one of each base resource, is that correct? No, nope. you need 25 honour, which we've all got. Yeah. And you need to have moved all of the cubes out of your potential. Yes, okay, that's good. All right, so no, I can't do that. Right, so I think I'm done. Okay. I've, I've moved, I've enacted myself, yep. and I've done a location. I'm right. fine, thanks. Okay, my go. Uh, well, my short-term plan, or my medium-term plan, has now been achieved. So who knows what I'm going to be doing next. Um, yeah, let's have a look around. Let's see what we've got. And I don't want to do that. Uh, so in terms of masteries, yeah, what am I close to getting? None of them. Okay. Hmm. Definitely don't need blue. Uh, strength. Yeah, no, that's going to be tricky, isn't it? Probably want to take that one if I can. So how are we going to do that? Uh, oh, I also want to do that. Yeah, there's lots of things I want to do. Um, so let me first activate my own character to get two strength. Then I will move one, two, three to go there. Then I will visit the command post. I will spend three strength. And I'm going to upgrade my horse to some very long-legged creature, uh, which gets me another four points. One, two, three, four. So I've visited, I've moved, I've activated. I don't want to do any combining. Um, yeah, that's it for me. I am done. Linda. Um,
How close are we to another end game one? Yeah, not that close. Are you always looking up rules? Um, <clears throat> I think I want to move. Oh, I don't... I'd forgotten how much I like this game. It's really it is good, isn't it? All right, move me you... back Go on. towards the pets. And I am going to rest Ooh. and move influence or potential over to influence. Yeah. So. And okay. Then I am going. I still activate my character, or does that just yeah. mean nothing? No. If you rest, it just means you can't visit. So you still okay. get to activate a character. So I want to activate my character. Yep. And put one in strength. Okay. And then because of your loyalty trait, whenever you activate your character, you can return one influence from a companion. And I would like to move one influence from my companion. And Keyleth, back to your influence pool. There you go. And I believe that is all I can do this. Okay. Paul, your go. Somebody just joined in the chat. Thank you very much for joining in this afternoon or this morning, wherever you are. Could I please activate Isla? Yeah. Getting you one inspiration. And two strength. And two strength. That's a, such a good card, isn't it? But I will also return three from Isla for another inspiration. Yeah. And then nice. I turn two strength and two inspiration into courage. Yeah. And Isla's going to go to battle against uh, uh, a secret top of the top deck monster, please. Okay. You have drawn the custodian of the inner tomb. Five points. And let's roll some dice. Okay, so nothing bad happens, and you gain a vision. When you had to get lucky at some point. There you go. So, the Custodian of the Inner Tomb's ability is at the end of the game, you score two honour for each of your wisdom on the board. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you have visited. You haven't moved yet, have you? You scored me five points, yeah? I did, yeah. You're now on 51. I now need to move. Mm-hmm. I think I shall move next to the shrine, so south, east, south. Yep. Okay. Um, shall I? Yeah, I don't think I gain any benefit going the other way. Yes, thank you. That's that, that thank you, please, thank you, thank you, please. Okay, Damien. And Isla's still alive. Didn't see that coming. I know. Congratulations on not discarding one of your I had hoped she was going to be fatigued to be honest <laughs> because when she's when she gets three inspiration you can turn them into uh, with three uh things on her you turn that you remove them to get one inspiration yeah so she gets tired <laughs> I'll just I'll get an extra chance of getting a free thing yeah but you don't get everything you want do you otherwise everyone would be me <laughs> I didn't hear that last bit. It all broke up. Yeah. Probably a good thing. You didn't, you didn't, it <laughs> you didn't miss anything. Okay. So I'd like right. to move. Uh, both of my three movement spots have got people camping, or the logical ones I want to move to, got people camping on them. So I'd like yeah. to move south and southwest, please. South, southwest. Um, I'd like to visit the place that gives me blue just to my right. That's my. Uh, that's your own library. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Gets you two knowledge. Yeah. Um, can you read out my uh, scepter of the whatever yes. it's called? Yes, it is. Return one influence to convert one knowledge into one vision. So I still need. So I still I can't do that multiple times. I yeah uh, you can. Uh, well you yeah. can. So you so can I return can all of these three right now to convert these three knowledge into three vision. Oh, okay. All right. 
that's good to know in which case In which case I'll put, I will enact my companion to give myself two more, um, two more intelligence. You've two, only two got two knowledge. influence at the moment. Oh, so I can't put one down and one. Yes, that's a good point. Um, Again, you could use the relic first if you wanted to. Okay, let's convert one. Yeah, so use yeah, the relic, the relic to convert one knowledge into a vision. You can now oh, activate what? Zaya to gain two yeah. knowledge. Yeah. Okay. I may as well do the. Uh, I need to do a, use an influence. Yeah, let's leave it there. That's done. Okay, so okay. I've moved. I've moved. I've activated a companion, and I've visited done an area. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Right. I'm making simple moves. Thank you. Bye. My go. Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, I just need. I just need knowledge now. I mean, my library is up there and I can get there with four. So one, two, three, four. Uh, I will visit my own library to get two knowledge. I will also activate Adran to get another two knowledge. And in fact, I didn't need to activate Adran. I could just activate my own character because I don't need to use the ability. So yeah, that's me done. Very simple. Linda. Do you get one less knowledge for activating yourself? Or? Nope, because I'm, I'm vindicated. Oh, of course. Absolutely. Yeah, not like the wretched scum you are, Damien. <laughs> I'm trying to but... do something about that. Give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to go back down to my inn. Okay. Do -do -do. That I have. Oops. Um, I am going to activate Keyleth. Mm-hmm. To get two inspiration. Ah. Uh, which I will then spend. So you spend two inspiration to get a companion. Um, get a companion, which I will use my empowered draw. So you're using two influence from Kaylee back to your pool to draw three cards from the companion deck. Yes. Okay. And the cards you have drawn are uh Kaya, the Ascended, which we've had before. Uh, Zoe, Barrier to Darkness, that we've had before. I did, I did shuffle them. Uh, and Zula, the Wretched. Which we've had before. Have we? No, I think that's a new one. Zula, the Wretched? Yeah. Or you could take the face-up one that was on display. What was that one? It was Dawn, the Lost Hope. Um, a wretched one must be expansion one. Fun. Let me get to the treachery cards. Oh, have I got the treachery cards mixed in then? Uh huh. Because ah. greed, greed is a treachery right, card. Right. So we're actually playing with another expansion that I didn't realise. All the black stuff. The black stuff is treachery cards. Okay, that's fine. Like the ones with um, the and stuff. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Turn. What are you thinking of it so far, Damien? You enjoying it? I really, really like it. I mean, I'm, the the only difficulty for me is I'm kind of jumping between at the beginning of my turn each time. You're hearing me saying, "Just wait a second. And I jump yeah. between the PDF of the rules to check which color tile I'm moving to and try. Yeah. I really, I really like it. I think mm. there's a couple of people in my group that would really enjoy this. That none of the, neither of the two or three groups that I kind of play with regularly or norm in normal times, but none of them it's has any. I'd, I'd happily play it face to face with you at Handicon. So yeah, absolutely. I, this is this is hey. a game. That I would describe as a really Zula. good use of a couple of hours or three hours. Really great use. Of taking Zula. Yeah. Okay, so you lose two honor for taking the card. What? Yeah. <laughs> you sure? No. I don't need to lose anything. Yeah, I think this is the yeah the treachery cards add extra player interaction. I can see why they are an optional extra because some people wouldn't like these 
Fire. Where are the holy spires? Uh, the holy spires are. Let's zoom out. Only one. We've only got one. These yellow ones. Oh, they are. Um, yeah, it does seem quite harsh. Yeah, I don't think I'll do that. Okay. Yeah, because as well as losing the two points for Zulu, you, you're not gaining the points that you would get. I guess I'll do Zo. Zo, Barrier to Darkness. Okay, so you get two points. Uh, and here we go. And that is a another yellow card. So you've definitely got the yellow mastery. <laughs> and um, I will uh, take a yellow cube and a blue cube and create a wisdom. Okay, so you take an inspiration and the knowledge and create one wisdom. Okay, so the new yellow companion that's come out is uh, the Zion Sisters. There That's what, you get two of them. Yes. Right. If you're done, Linda, then Paul. I am done. Right. Could I please activate Gren? You can. For two inspiration. Two inspiration. Yep. And then purchase with two strength. Because it really doesn't matter, it's a fun game. I'm going to take a random red one and hope it's not a negative one. I honestly do not want a negative person. It is Beast Mistress Varroa. Three points. Uh, once per turn, you may upgrade your mount one level for... One strength. One strength. Less than you would normally pay. Okay. She seems quite nice. Friendly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and because you've activated Gren... You get two points. You get another two points. Right, you've not moved yet. And then... And then... I would like to move back north and northwest, please. Uh, north and northwest. Okay. If you're all done, it's Damien's go. I'd like to move south, southwest, south, please. Uh, so south, southwest, south. Yep. All right. Um, I think I need to just figure out which way around I have to do this. You currently have no influence. Yeah, so in I can't pool. get I can't get the others off. So basically, I'm going to activate. Oh, hang on. The... Somebody in the chat has just told us that Linda is owed another two points. Ah, yeah. I thought I might have done that. So I I knocked off your two points when you took the treacherous one, and forgot well to spotted. add it back on. Scorpion. Yeah, well spotted. Thank you very much. That's two bonus points for Scorpion, Scorpion Ecosuch as well. So can you yes. put out a different token on for two points for Scorpion Ecosuch? Uh, yeah, so this SD card here, this can be Scorpion Ecosuch's points. You are now on two points for spotting that error. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, no, no. Right, if I've got this right, I can't, I can't go and buy a relic because I don't have one to be able to pull. I don't have an influence to be able to uh, take the other one off my scepter, but I could go to the place to the right what is that called i can't remember the dark the blue dark blue place monastery so if i go if i enact the monastery to the right i've got visit it yeah yeah visit R it. remember you can always recover influence from the board if you really wanted to uh, okay if, if you yes. were desperate you can take cubes off the board and put them back uh so at the moment all i've got is those four that are there and then one on the one to the left one on vision that uh yeah that's all I'm, I'm going to use all them anyway so no i'm 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 doing this anyway so okay. i'd like to go to the monastery please i oh, wait, actually I, yeah. oh, I don't have one spare at the moment do i no. i don't have one yes okay so i go to monastery now mm -hmm. uh, uh with and i'm going to use all four all four points please yeah paul are you able to adjust the focus on the top of your screen the focus on the top of the screen yeah, it's uh, it's gone blurry. That's not me. That's not you, because that's also the um, 
it's also on the left hand side with the that's odd because it's also on the it's blurry on the right well i, I will go to discord i will stop sharing my screen and then i'll reshare it again i was gonna say it could just be the discord thing yeah that is odd uh, oh i can actually stream in 1080 oh no i can't i've got to subscribe to discord nitro to do that okay forget that um yeah how do i stop sharing my screen <laughs> It, it, it was manageable. I was just, I didn't, I didn't know if it was a video thing rather than a. You're right. It had changed in the last ten minutes. There you go. Let's share it again. Okay. Is that any better? It's mainly black at the moment. It's all black. How's that? That's better. Okay. Yeah, a bit Much better. Okay. So the four cubes that I've taken off um, blue. Yes. I'm going to use the powers of those four cubes to pull all the ones from the left potentially into the middle. Yep. Oh dear. Vindicate yourself. I, it makes no sense not to vindicate myself. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four, five. Flip that over. Okay. I now can empower myself. Is that correct? Activate yourself. Yeah. Yeah, because you've not activated a character yet. Okay. So. Two um, of something. Yeah, uh, I'll put two on the blue again. I'm sorry, I can't remember the colours names. Knowledge. I'm, I, I'm not. It's not resolving enough. And then I'd like to move. I'd like to spend one cube from influence. I'd like to use my scepter again. Okay. So you return one from here to there to convert one knowledge into a vision. Okay. okay. Right. That'd be done. All done. Um, okay, so we're close to this, and if Linda vindicates herself, that is this end game condition here. Right, so it might not be that long. Um, let's have a think what I was going to do. I did that, and I did that. that Linda did that. is miles away from vindicating herself looking at the cubes, though. She's not bothering about that at all. True. Okay, so I've got four movement. Can I get to where I want to go? One, two, three, four. No, I can't. Uh, right. Okay, so we'll do something different. We will go one, two to here. I will use my own fort to get two strength. Um, I will then uh, activate my own character to get two strength. I will then use that strength and that knowledge to get a vision. Um, so I've moved, I've activated, I've visited, i combined, and that's me done. Yeah, Linda. Well, I was going to move some cubes, but now I'm blacked out again. <laughs> so, oh, it's okay. I will, uh... So I'll move back towards pets. Mm -hmm. uh, that's me. One, two. What do you need to hand in for pets? It's one of each of the base reasons. Yeah. Yeah, one of yeah. each of the base. Strength, inspiration, and knowledge. And I will activate. Uh, Okay, I will activate uh, Kalith. Mm hmm. Get you two inspiration. And uh, none of the pet stuff I can activate. No, you don't have any knowledge at the moment. Oh, you mean these guys? Uh, yeah. Uh, nope. Um, actually I can. I'll spend those two, um, cubes for a, oh no I won't because I need it for that. Uh, I am done. 
Okay. Paul. I need those for something else. Could I please activate the library for two uh, knowledge? Two points to Damien. Two knowledge for you. Yep. Exactly, yes. Could I then please activate Beast Mistress Varala? Getting you two, two strength. Uh, two strength, yep. But I'll spend one of those. To act, upgrade my mount level, it's two. It's not oh, only it? three. It's one less, not just yeah. one. So is it one less when I go to the mount? Is it only when I go to it command must post? Be, yeah, because there is the picture of the command post. It's not clear from the text, but there's the picture. Okay, of the I won't. Be, I won't be doing that then. I'm afraid. Okay. I'll be activating Isla for one. Uh, inspiration. More inspiration and two. And then activating. Else myself for two strength yeah sorry about that that's all right um have i moved uh you have not so i would move south west southeast south yeah which is all i ever do do i have to move all my two or can i just move yeah, one you just move one in fact i just i just move gonna move southeast then yeah Linda, what were you saying? You about to say something? Sorry, Linda. Oh no, I was waiting until he was done. I was gonna uh, ask something I forgot to do. Okay, go on. Let's do it now. Um, since I didn't visit, can I move one cube from potential to influence? You can. You can rest. Yeah. Okay. So, Paul, are you going down the gaping moor again? No, I activated the library for two knowledge. Oh, you did, didn't you? Yes. Are you done then? That to me feels a bit done. Okay. I think I might spend three inspiration for um, a little yellow boxy thing. Okay. So that what gives you a total of six. Six yellow cards, which is one more than Linda's got. Okay, right. Damien. Did you manage to say, Damien, what's your move when I had my headset off for a second? Yes, I did. It's your go. <laughs> it was just because it was so quiet. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to visit the purple place directly beneath me. Visit the Arcane Tower, yeah. Which is hand in those two um, thingies there. Two vision the shield was can you remind me i've asked yep. three times so place one to three influence on it and you can basically move influence from it onto a companion to gain that companion's attributes oh well, that might actually bizarrely be quite good mm. how many points is it five just one second are they all five are they all basically all the relics so you are um basically put something on it and play around with them yeah yeah i think so um okay why not thanks yeah I'll have okay a... so five points yeah. one two three four five give me that coin there how many influence would you like to put on it I'll put three on it, please. Yep. And you take them straight off. You can take them off at any point, yeah? Yeah, pretty much. So you could take them all off now. Oh, so well, you take them off and you put them on a, ca on a companion. Yeah. And then you would gain that companion's attributes. So I'd like to take one off and put it on the companion right now. To get two knowledge. Yeah. I'd like to use those three knowledge I've got there to buy that little knowledge tile. Okay, yeah. So that gives you a total of three blue cards which is less than other people but yeah. i have five yeah yeah um so all i've done is a visit so far and i need to figure out what else i'm doing you haven't activated i haven't activated myself or nope, moved, or moved. Yeah. okay uh, so i would like um 
I would like to move southeast, northeast, north. Yeah. Um, I would like to activate myself. Mm -hmm. um, what do I want? Actually. Get some cues back off Zaya. I, I can't get them off Zaya without buying an inspiration so what you're saying is get an inspiration to do you could that. take yeah you could take two inspiration for your character and then visit the shrine use those two inspiration like, to get four cubes off Zaya. it feels like we're really near the we could be really near the end and i was actually thinking about maybe not moving everywhere that i'd moved mm -hmm. and sitting because i could i could build another um the one that i've still got on the scepter would allow me to get one on uh that yeah so ah oh, sorry can you turn out the next uh, relic please oh yes uh the next relic is uh the pouch of glowberries six points uh put influence there and then you can turn influence to roll the attribute die basically get random stuff okay um So if you can move, so I moved from the top one. So did I move from there? I think I moved. I think I moved from the red. I think I moved from the middle one to the left beside there. Okay. So I moved from there. So if you can move it one at the first step, please. Yeah. And then leave it there. Okay. And then what I'd like to do is I'd like to, um, I'd like to get, I'd like to activate myself to get two red, please. Yeah. So two strength. Okay okay and then that's it thank you right okay my go uh so i had a plan to do that last time i've forgotten what i was going to do oh yeah i was going to do that so yeah mine is pretty simple i will move to here i will visit the command post spending the three strength to upgrade my mount to the super super flying pegasus thing which is five points uh you just played twice Say again? Did you upgrade twice from the three to the five? I didn't, no. I just flipped the four over. Okay. So I just check um, your score. You score the points every time you do it, that's all. Yeah. I'm I was then going to activate Adrun to get two knowledge. I was just checking you hadn't missed out on any points because I sometimes yeah. do that. Again. No, not Adrun, yourself. <laughs> um, right. Noted. <laughs> Done. Linda, your go. So how long is a companion considered active when I activate it? Is it until the next turn, or um, I think is it, it only is, during my turn? I think it's only during your turn. Time. Otherwise, that pet that you've got would be totally broken. <laughs> yeah, you'd use it every round and no one could score points. Nobody scores any points. Yeah. Okay, that's what I thought. I just wanted to make sure. Um, right, so... I have three cubes, is that correct? You have four influence. Okay. And two Sorry, it's blurry at the top of the screen, so it's, it's hard to again. see some of the cures. That's really weird. weird. Um, zoom in and zoom out, but yeah, I'm not sure why it's gone blurry. Um, yeah, it goes it's in and out. Because um, the, whole, the whole thing's blurry, it's not just your screen, it's the the whole video thing. Right. The other option is that if you watch, if you if you open up another window for YouTube, although it'll be eight seconds delay, it'll be much better quality. It'll be 1080p. Okay. It's, all right. it's only the very top edge, so okay. for me, so it's fine. Um, so I would like to move one straight north. Yeah. The okay. only thing is, on an eight-second delay, am I playing any better? <laughs> <laughs> More considered, eight eight seconds worth of consideration. Yeah. Um. I would like to activate myself and put one in um, knowledge. Yeah. And then um, visit the menagerie. Mm -hmm. So strength and inspiration and the knowledge. And um, get, uh, what is that one called? There's Shona. Uh, Shona, that's, that's the Shona, one. Oh, the big time I want Shona. Who's Shona going to be attached to? Uh, the newest one I got. Zoe. Zoe. Yeah, Zoe is riding a tiger. Okay. There's a question about you, Damien. Are you the gentleman who runs the media death cult? 
YouTube channel? No, definitely not. I'm spelled <laughs> I-E-N. No, that's Mecha Death Cult. No. No. Okay. Um, new, and new pet then, comes out. Um... It's Brock, Defender of the Order. Oh, I do like sci-fi fancy movies and books. Oh. All right. Um... Oh, and you and get then... three points for that. Yeah, three points. One, two, three. Brock would have been useful to have early doors because you can't kill companions. Yeah. I can give it to my weakest one and uh, and go right. You can never die. Yeah. Yeah, we know. I would like to control the menagerie. Mm -hmm. <sighs> that it really matters. There's not a huge fight for it. Well, it's, it's um, a net four points for one cube. Why is the net playing? Oh, she got four points as well. Right. So <laughs> and the net has got, got four points. points. Scorpion yeah. Apple has got two. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then what's that? Then can I activate Caliph? You can. Which is two inspiration. Uh, unless you, have you already activated yourself for a knowledge this turn? I did. Yeah. So you can't also activate. Caleb. I can't. Okay. Oh, but I did um, because I activated myself. I should have got a cube back from you Caleb. Got a cube back. Yes. Yeah. There okay. You go. Um, can't convert, so I am done. Okay. Could I activate Gren for two yeah. inspiration? So Gren, two inspiration, and then spend two knowledge. Two knowledge. At the inn. At the inn to get a yellow companion. To buy a blue companion. I've just spent knowledge. Oh, sorry, knowledge to a blue companion. Would you like Empress Ruined, the Violet Sun, or a random one off the top of the deck? It seems too scary that I might get a minus two. Yeah. So even though the probability is with me, I'm going to stick with Empress Rune. Which gets you five even points. Even though she's pretty useless. Five points. Three normally, plus two for Gren. Yeah. Okay, so once per turn you can convert vision into a point. Yeah, I won't be doing that. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to move. Um, one place. No, two places. Uh, north, west, southwest. So I'm next to the command post, the library, and the fort. And the fort. Please. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we need a new blue companion, which is Durgle, the Determined. Okay. Uh, Damien, you're up next. Cheers. Uh, I'm... So, I'd like my cube on the scepter, please. Yeah. What does it... I have uh, to... Well, it converts knowledge into vision. Yeah, so what I will do is I'll use a cube on the shield to activate my person. To get oh, to... Uh, damn, you, I forgot to do something. You put them on companions. Yep, to put, and, then yep. I, and that means I can get two... Yep, two uh, knowledge. Then you use then the scepter. Use the scepter. To convert that into that. Yep. Yep. Then I'll use... I'll convert one of the blue and reds to make another purple. Uh, so a knowledge and a strength to get another vision. Yep. And I will visit the place I can buy a thing. Yep. Visit the arcane tower? Yep. 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 Would you like the pouch of glowberries or a random one off the top of the deck? That's six victory points and three dice rolls, yeah? Uh, yes. Sounds oh, good. That's six, six victory points and three dice yeah. rolls. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You're going to put three influence on it. Yeah, and I'm going to roll three dice rolls. Right and you're going there. to return that influence. Okay, so I'm going to roll this dice three times, and we have uh, wisdom, inspiration, and wisdom. Nice. So two wisdom and then inspiration. Okay, inspiration is the one that lets me take things back from Pete from at the shrine. Yes. At the shrine, so which is the shrine's the top left, yeah. Shrine is here, or here. It's the yeah, light, sorry. creamy coloured ones. 
Uh, okay, so the new relic is a treachery one. It's a cursed relic. It's Yanara's murky green toxin. Mm. Okay, I now need okay. to move. Uh, you haven't so moved yet. I'm going to move uh, northeast and north. Um, and north and northwest. Okay. Now, have you activated a character this turn? I haven't activated anything this turn. Okay. Um, I'm just trying to see where I'd like to put my points. Oh, I've got something on red. I have, haven't I? You have one strength. Uh, how many cubes have I got in the box? Uh, you got four inspiration. Okay. Um, I'll put two of those on. Um, I'm not going to get full whack for this, but I'm going to put. I think I've gambled that the game's not going to last very long, which isn't very sensible, but never mind. Um, well, you could actually end it fairly quickly next turn. Because one of the end game triggers is that a player has got rid of all of their cards from their board. All the cubes. Yeah. yeah. I think we also forgot to put an end game trigger out. Yeah. No, we've, we've, we've gone past three coins. Oh, yeah, there should be another yeah, one. Yeah, there should be another one. So Shall I draw it now? Do that before. Yeah, do it before I do it. Okay, it is traits. When one player... When what... When one trait more than the number of players has been obtained, the next round becomes the final round. So when five traits have been obtained in total, that's an end game trigger. We've I currently got know. two. So yeah. close. Yeah. Nowhere. Nowhere close. Right. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna put two of those down on blue, please. Uh, in which case, did you want to activate your companion instead? Because that would have allowed you to buy the relic for a discount of one say that again so if you're using your character to gain yep. two knowledge did you instead want to activate your companion which would gain you two knowledge and meant that the relic that you bought here earlier would have been at a discount of one? Oh yeah yeah please yeah okay so it's one cube on oh, there that, that's more admin though i mean no i, I completely forgotten about the, like, that power that i've got so um yeah i don't yeah. mind it's easy to do it's okay, up to you whether right. you want to do it yeah yeah why not if so it locks one, one more there, in then that puts two on there, yep. which means you actually, that goes back there. Ah, now that does empty your board. So we now play one turn. I believe so. Yeah, if I've done that right. Shouldn't I have got something back that I didn't? Ah, you should have got something back. Yeah, okay, let's not do that then. There you go, that's it. So you've activated your character. It means character. I don't take advantage of, an op of something else, but it, let's, yeah. let's leave it like that. So yeah. okay. I'm not trying to scupper anyone. You all good? You done? Yes, thank you. Right, okay. So I am going uh, one, two to my monastery. I'm going to activate uh, myself first to get to knowledge. Uh, and then at the monastery, I am going to use one, two three, four, five, six, seven, to move one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right, that should be plenty of conviction. Um, so I've moved, I've visited, I've activated, that is my go done. Linda. I am going to move two to the ancient tomb. Mm-hmm. There you go. Um, I am going to activate Kalis. Okay, which gets you two inspiration. I am going to do an empowered draw. Okay, so you return two of these cubes back from Kalis to there. And what is it that you're drawing? 
Uh, I have to draw inspiration cards. I'm at inspiration, right? Um, so the only place here you can draw cards is the ancient tomb. And you don't have the two wisdom, unfortunately. Oh, okay. So, Never, uh, I was back on that. Okay, sorry. I right. was debating something else. Um, all right, so I will... So uh, still back on that. Yeah, I'll still, back on that. You no, still, still go ahead and... Yeah, just go ahead and do that. Um, 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 I will visit the library. Okay, I'm happy get, you're visiting my library. Yeah, there you are. So like, Two cubes on knowledge. knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, Combine one from knowledge and one from inspiration into wisdom. wisdom. Yep. Yep, yep. And then I am and I believe. Okay, Paul. Paul, can I guarantee I've can I confirm I've got eight influence currently, please? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, you do. In which case, can I activate myself for yep. two strength? Two strength. And activate the fort for two strength. Uh, that's the white fort. So Linda gets two points. Northwest, and southwest. Northwest and southwest. And I believe I should currently have uh, four influence and six strength. That is correct. Then I am done. Okay, Damien. Okay, so the um, thing about it all triggers game end when someone takes off. Is that at any point or is that at the end of their turn? It's at any point. The next round becomes the final round. And who started? I started. So you would be the last player. No, it was one more round after he does it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm saying, but... Yeah. A round yeah. starts with me and ends with Damien. Yeah. I w what I was actually mainly asking was, does it? Do we only count the status at the end of the turn? As in? No, or, it's or just. It? it says um, when they're triggered, it becomes the, the, the finish the current round and the final one comes the final. Yeah. The next one is the final round. It cannot be untriggered. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. That makes sense. That that last bit changes it or, or yeah. makes it really clear for what the intent was. Um. Uh, but the reason for asking is one of the things that I might do, that I might do is take the one off my shield to trigger my person, mm -hmm. which then puts the two cubes that I've got out there on intelligence, which triggers the end of the game. Yeah, which triggers the end of the game. Um, and uh, you know, I don't even know. It. I don't even know if I really want to do that. Um, I mean, you do have a lead on points on the board. No, no, but... no. I, I, I think I'm behind on endgame scoring. So I, right. I am going to do it just because uh, because I know how to do it. So I'll take the cube off the shield, please. Yeah. And trigger my... So so it got... Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Um, so end of I'm game thinking... has been triggered. Okay. So it's one, two, three. Um, I'm going to move north... Northwest, north. Yeah. Um, to the left of me, I have what? Uh, there is the the holy spire here. Yeah. There is the shrine, and there is the fort. Okay, the shrine is the one that I can use the top right one to take two off my pet. Is that right, or two? Off yeah, my you can you can use an inspiration to take two cubes back from your companion. Uh, so let's do that, please. Okay, so you spend an inspiration to take two cubes back from Zaya. Has the endgame been triggered, did we say? The so endgame yeah. has been triggered, yeah. Because it can't be untriggered. That's why I was just trying to clarify. And yeah. now I either trigger Zaya or I trigger myself, yeah? <laughs> uh, activate, yes. Activate, sorry. 
yeah. wrong terminology. I do apologise again. Um, I didn't use all my intelligence. Uh, the, double checking the the ones I've got placed out on the board. If I want to use them to place to somewhere else, I can if I need to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you work? can always recover these from there back to your influence pool. Okay. All right. I've built for green. Um, so I'll put. I'll put two on just to give myself a backup. I'll put my two on to red, please. So I'll activate myself to put two to red. Yeah, okay. Thanks very much. That's everything. Right, so my last turn of the game, <laughs> which is interesting because, yeah, now that I've got all of this conviction, I was going to spend the next five turns just wandering around controlling places. That's what I thought you were going to do. Can't do that. Um, so instead... Yeah, don't really have that much to do. Uh, maybe try and get to the monster. Can you reach the gaping moor? Uh, even if I do, I don't have any courage. I have no strength. I have no inspiration. So that's a shame because that that current monster would be incredible for you. At game end, two honor for every two conviction in your conviction sphere. Yes, it would be. Yes. Yeah, that would be very good. But no, there's no way that I can do no, that. Maybe. Point monster. <laughs> it would be how much? An eleven point monster. Eleven point monster. Yes. Five on it and six points for your current conviction. Yeah, that would and be you, good. And you're going to find the gaping more for another two points. Mm -hmm. What about spinning around the relic and getting another relic and assuming and uh, using an empowered draw to draw the best of three? Yeah, I mean, I could do. Right. I could. I, I. I could get a relic, and it would get me five points, but. No, I think I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move. You can get more than that. I mean, yeah. I don't, sorry, I don't want to say anything. I don't think it's a. I can say afterwards. No, yeah, no, yeah, don't, no, don't, don't tell me now unless there's a rule that I've missed. Um. So yeah, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two, three. Oh no, I want to do something that actually gets me something. Okay, can I get up there? I can move five. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's too far away. Um, have I got any of that? I don't have any of that, but I could get some of that. So I think, unfortunately, Linda, I'm going to have to steal this in. So I'm going to move one, two, three There's to there. There's plenty of blank tiles around there. Yeah, but I want to activate the inn as well because that's going to get me points. So I'm going to, I've moved there. I'm going to activate Adron to get myself two knowledge. I then visit the inn, spending the two knowledge. Um, and I might as well spend a conviction because I've got a million of it um, to draw three cards. Include, and I will... include Durgle in your choices. Yeah, but I'm just going to take the one that's the most points. Yeah, so I'll take that one, which is four points plus nothing. One, two, three, four. These all get shuffled in. And then because I visited that location, I can spend two conviction to get three points because of that. One, two, three. There you go. Yeah, I can now say uh, what I, I thought you might do is go to the reliquary, get pick up, look at four relics, and take the reliquary off Damien. But I didn't the want Arcane to say Tower. That, sorry, yeah. 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 Uh, no, there's, there is, there's a reason I didn't want to do that. Okay. For reasons that I can't say. I'm not winning. <laughs> no. <laughs> right. Okay. Um, Linda, your last turn. All right, I'm going to try this. Let's move uh, one to the northeast. Mm -hmm.
I'll visit the ancient tomb. Yep. Spend your two wisdom. Yes. Um. Activate Kalith. Activate Kalith to get two inspiration, which means you can now do an empowered draw yes. by returning that to there, drawing you one, two, three cards plus the greed. Okay, let's have a look at what you've got. Oh. So obviously there's the greed. You have Wanderlust, four points. Uh, persistence, four points. And Impunity, six points. With a passive trait, which is quite good. Uh, Wanderlust. Wanderlust is four points now, and if you were to move four or more spaces on your turn, you get an extra point. Yeah, but that's gone. Yeah. Uh, impunity. Is straight six points now and makes other players pay double for abilities that affect any of your cards or blocks. Then what was the last one? The last one is four points, and whenever you gain honour from two or more sources on a single turn, get two points. Which we're not going to have no. another turn. So I think your six points is your best yep. one. Yep. Okay. We'll that take that it. one. Six points. Done. Anything else you can do on your turn? Um, can you zoom out? Oh, sorry. Yes. There we go. Uh... Oh, the new trait is greed. I shuffled and drew it again. I don't believe so. Okay. I'm done. Right, Paul, your last turn. Could I please act to activate Beast Mistress Varroa? Oh, yes, you can. For two strength. Four strength. Then at one of the command posts, whichever one is free. Yep. I'll spend Both of them. eight strength. Yep. For, yep. 12, for 12 points. Yep. And maximise my ride from two to five, please. Yeah, boom. Straight away to the Pegasus. And that's 12 points, is it? Yeah, it's three, four, and then five. Yeah. Nicely done. So 61 to 73. You can imagine my heart was in my mouth when Damien said at the round before he might he might end it. And no. I was like, <laughs> no, no. I wasn't planning them. I was, I was just trying... Times. I was trying to make sure that I didn't do it as a surprise or whatever. So that you know, I mentioned it then to basically mean that it was, was like, on the table as a potential. I was like, no, do it now. I'll be one turn short of being able to do it. <laughs> I now have five movement, but nothing to do with it. So to move. it's only Damien left, isn't it? Yeah. yeah just, just, just so move. Because of the sort of game we've had, I'm going to move five places away from Damien to make sure I'm not in his way from when he I, don't, I don't think it matters. I think I've been screwed by something else, but we'll talk about it in a second. So I'm going to go to the bottom right corner between the two monasteries and the I shrine. I can't believe you'd move there. I, do. Can't, I can't reach there, so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> right, Damien, last turn of the game, and then we do this final scoring. Can you read, can you read what greed trait is? It is six points, and you can lose an honour to make a player next to you on the map lose an attribute of their choice and you gain three of it. Okay, so it's basically a six point. I was just one worried that that was, a, because it was such an evil power, it was minus victory points, but no. you could gain more. Okay, so yeah. uh, basically, I can't see the most of the board now because of the blurring, but from how it looks to me, I've got four in blue, three in strength, um, and two in green is that right absolutely right four knowledge three strength two wisdom yep okay so knowledge isn't a lot of use for anything apart from moving on the only benefit for knowledge would be for taking a different location um if i but I'd have to do that i'd have to move uh, uh yeah that doesn't work so i will go to the free i will move my person to the free slot beside the relic 
So no, well, no, no. So uh, northwest, southwest from where I was, I was one up. You were one up. So northwest, southwest. Oh, you mean the the ancient tomb for the trait? Trait, trait, trait. not relic. I do okay. apologize. I can't that's reach right. back to there. So yeah, that's what I was looking at. Greed. Um, yep. Now I will activate the ancient tomb. So visit the ancient tomb. Spend two wisdom. And are you just going to take greed? I uh, there. That's. That, that's higher than normal well whatever yeah it's six, yeah, six points so. is fine. Yeah. yeah six points yep yeah, fine i'm not going to do anything with it what um, does your monster get you points for influence in your influence sphere oh so i want more influence off my influence sphere yeah so I you probably just get... want to return all of this stuff if you don't need it back to your board yeah yeah i'll definitely do that thank you uh yep do that there you go. And are we done? And there's nothing. And I, I've now got something to activate, but I don't need to activate because I've done a movement and I've done a yeah. action. Can he do that? Can he take all of his influence? Because in the bonus actions, it just says recover a block, not as recover as many as you want. That's you not... Recover like, influence from... It's a colon or an arrow, I guess. Bonus actions, yep. page eight. Then again, um, game proficiency says limit one per turn. I think most... I, I there is no it, limit, okay. apart from the inherent loss of value. Yeah. I get two points. That seems very strong. Linda cool. gets two points. Thank you. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Who's up there? Um, that's it. Thank you very much. Okay, right. Let's reveal the secret quests for me. So I need to control the library at the end of the game. Done. And I need to have the most vision on the game board at the end of the game. Right. So your very first move of the game got you one of your secret quests. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Linda, your secret quest was to control the ancient tomb. Two points. And to attain any three traits. Oh, not quite. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. <laughs> uh, Paul, your secret quest was kill Damien. No. Um, have at least one blue, one red, and one yellow companion at the end of the game. Now, even though you kept getting them killed off, you did manage to achieve it. Nice one. One, two, three. And the second part of the secret quest was to vindicate yourself. Easy. Two, three, four. Okay, done. Damien, your secret quest was... Control any two regions. Yep. Three points. One, two, three and attain one trait, one relic, and defeat one monster by the end of the game, which you did. Nice. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Right, mastery tiles. Are they still in the right place? I have six blue. I don't think anybody's got more than that. So I get five. Linda, you've got one, two, three, four red. Yep, yeah, nobody's got more than that. And you've got one, two, three, four green. Yeah, nobody's got more than that. So you get 12 points for those. So one, 10, and then another one. Uh, Paul, I've got you with yellow and orange. You think that's right? I believe so. I've got, got six one, yellow six, and six yellow. three orange. Three orange. Yeah, so that's 12 points. Uh, 85 to 97. Oh, yeah, it's this board. It only goes up to 90. It's very odd. <laughs> um, and Damien, we've got you with the purple one because you've got three purples. Yeah, seven points. Okay, right. So that is those done. What else is endgame scoring? Monsters and stuff. Uh, any monsters that have endgame scoring and then um, in a number of territories control. That's it. Well, let's do the territories first. One, two, three, four, five. Five for me, give me 10 points, putting me from 71 to 81. Linda, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, Paul, just one territory. And Damien, one, two, three territories. One, two, three. Okay, so, oh no, four. I missed one. I've got four, yeah. Right, monsters then. Paul. Uh, I've got a monster that gets me two points per vision, so that's two points. Two points. And a monster gives me two points for every monster, so that's six more, so it's seven. So it's eight points I should have gained. Six. And then you've also got 
I've got no on uh, no, 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 no wisdom. wisdom. And Damien, one honour for every two influence. So that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And there we go. I think that is it. So congratulations, Paul. You've won with not quite 117. It's 107, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, 107. Uh, Damien with 103. Uh, I'm on 81 and Linda with 77. So there you go. Now that was a lot longer than I expected, but I was certainly very rusty at the start. But once we'd sped up, um, it's interesting because I was able to take my turns in like a minute because I'm sat here, I can see the board. Obviously people playing remotely, it's a lot harder to play. Um, but this is probably a 90 minute game. Yeah, um, I mean, I've, I've, I've seen it played in an hour, hour and a half. Yeah. Everyone knows the rules and it's just, I think it's always going add to add time playing a game like this remotely because seeing the game state is tough. Yeah, I think, yeah. I think my thing is if we played it on 1080, you, you, then I would have been, I can't even see the icons on each of the tiles. Yeah. So I'm scanning, I'm alt-tabbing to try and find yeah. what I gain from going there. And it's yeah. it, it's it's one step worse than not yeah. quite doing the game. Well, I think it's great. I will have to restrain myself or else I'll be spending it for this weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you should restrain yourself. I think you should definitely buy it. It's yeah. excellent. It really is. It is and good. I, thank you very um, much all for putting up with me. No, 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 it's fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was okay. Obviously, for tomorrow's really game, I'm probably going to, um, I'm probably just going to recommend people watch the YouTube. Although there's a, di there is a bit of a delay. The quality is much, much better um, rather than the share screen over Discord. So um, there you go. Now, unfortunately, I didn't, didn't really do much with the pets. Linda, you did. You got all these pets, but didn't really do much of them. Did you give them the points for the pets? Yeah, yeah, the points when you get them. So, yeah, the pets is the module that we decided to play, although accidentally we've also yeah. been playing with the treachery module as well because that's these black cards which um, I'm going to take out for tomorrow's game. But, yeah, we, we played with that module as well. So it's good that I've now played with that module. I probably wouldn't play with that module again. That kind of player interaction is not something that uh yeah i'm a big fan of but it's not too bad it's not too bad yeah no one really used them at anyone did they it's... no it, I, it was... I chopped drew to avoid one just cause yeah, the, yeah. Uh, you, don't, you don't need that with a game like this it, it can be quite difficult because if one person or if two people had used that you'd use the negative ones to stitch up one person yeah it kind of can feel a little bit like if when you've only got a little bit of interaction like that it can feel like the one person who suffers to it is like, oh, wait a minute, yeah. this, is not, this is not happening all over the place and it balances it out sort of naturally. This is yeah. a one-off effect where where that happens. It can feel a bit odd. But yeah, it's I more if you totally. choose to top deck a companion and you get one of the ones that's minus two, that's, that's effectively a four-point swing. Now, yeah. if, if the bonus of that character is really good, then okay, but it, it isn't. The, the, the benefits of the character are generally hurting other people yeah i know this one's actually really good gain a proficiency tile from an adjacent player oh okay yeah <laughs> it could be yeah could a be lot good. of them are augmenting too like right giving you the ability to augment so okay yeah i'm sure they're balanced um but there you go the other um expansion i guess is loot yep yeah, i've yeah. got some loot cards I've... yeah yeah where do they go? Do they uh, do they come out like when you do something like? Is there a a loot thing that you go and do, or is it like it's like jewelry or something, isn't it? A jewel crafter, something like that. Is that the loot? No, the jewel crafter is the infused crystals. Okay. I don't know where the loot cards comes out. Let's have a look. Sacred stones, well of wishes, building sites, Crystal guilds mon and monuments. There seems like a lot of little mini expansions. You can you can get a lot of replayability out of this and feel like every game's a bit different. Yeah, found it. Page forty one, dispersing loot. And this is in the Myths and Wonders expansion. So Yeah, because in the Myths and Wonders expansion there's like these miniatures and I think these go on the board and you fight them or defeat them or something and you get loot from killing them. 
something like that. Who knows? Who knows? But anyway, thank you for everybody who was watching today. I don't know if anybody's been with us since the start, uh, but if you have, thank you for bearing with us. Um, yeah, that was a lot of fun. As I say, it was three and a half hours, <laughs> but it would have been... Three. We didn't start till 20 past. We didn't, no, no, so just over three hours. Yeah, that's true. We did start late, and that's didn't we? Of live setup, which we did on the on the video, didn't we? But yeah. 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 Well, tomorrow, I think I'm down to do a two player game, which will be obviously much shorter. Um, somebody else might jump into it, so it might end up being three. But I do actually want to play this two player to see, you know, how yeah, it plays I mean, as a two player game. I was tempted to join that one as well, but yeah. I, was, I thought uh, you've already got two. We might want to try a different player count. Yeah. But. Yeah. Cool. Right. This is the first game I've played for months. So it's been... Well, there you go. Yeah. Thank uh, you very much to the three of you. I really enjoyed myself. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed that. As I say, I've only played it a few times, but I've really enjoyed it every Lovely. time I've played it. Linda, thank you for free basing um, caffeine to stay awake. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thanks for playing. I yeah, thank fun. you, Linda, for getting up early and joining in. Um, and if any of you are around at any point this weekend, hop on the virtual Manicon server uh, because there's games being played there all the time. I will say goodbye to everybody on the Discord channel, but I will speak to you all soon. Thank you very much for playing. Cheers. Goodbye. Bye. There you go. So that's the Discord gone. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much for everybody who's watched this uh, live or who is watching this back afterwards. Now, I should have been going live at three o'clock today with the Pathfinder Adventure card game. It's now half three and I haven't eaten. So I'm absolutely starving. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a short break for 20 minutes. I will be back at four o'clock live with something. I don't know what. I'm going to find a game to play that's going to take me about an hour and a half. Uh, so yeah, I will be back in 30 minutes or so on this channel. I just don't know what I'm going to play yet. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing Paul play a random game, join me here in about 30 minutes time. Um, other than that, yeah, thank you very much to everybody for watching in the chat. And yeah, if you like the content that I make, this was not a sponsored video. Uh, it's all funded through my Patreon campaign. So massive thank you to all of my Patreon supporters that give me the ability to do these videos. And yeah, if you like the content that I create, check out my Patreon page. I'll see you back here in half an hour. Cheers all.